In the north, a war rages for an empty throne, and the shadow of a dragon older than the world itself falls upon the land. Only the power of the Book of Dawn can banish this ancient evil to its prison and find the lost king of Galadron. But those who seek it are caught in the winds of fate, cast about by gods, infernals, and fairy queens. They've traveled from Doton's Rock, to the Sky Kingdom, to the ashen ruins of the Autumn Woods, to the ivy-covered vestibules of the Starless Market, where the Shadar Kai train sil trade silver rings for lives. They've traded the soul of Gilbert, the cursed sailor of the Siolok, oh, for no. a flute of bone hey? that makes no sound. You say day, but really it was... <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to. I don't want them to have to live up my sins. All right, I'll adjust the dramatic intro accordingly. Let the record show. <laughs> and now they find themselves in the court of the Lady Rowan, unseely queen, and her raucous, dangerous subjects. Are our heroes doomed to be the playthings of the gods forever? Will they find the chance to seize control of their own destiny? And what designs and schemes does the Lady Rowan weave about them? That is where our story continues. Welcome back to Casters and Castles, everyone. This is episode four of Arc Four, The Fairy Wedding. And when we last left our heroes, they were, as I mentioned, transported to the court of the Lady Rowan, a powerful queen of the Unseelie Fae, who invited them to attend her sister's wedding some time ago during their adventure in the Sky Kingdom. They had just left the ruins of the autumn woods of Fomhor, ravaged by fire and by wild magic. And while they were there, a ley line exploded and just gods and demons and fairies all rushed them and things are very, very hectic. They tried to make their way to the elven village of Lunasa, but along the way, they were basically abducted to a place called the Starless Market, where they met the Lady Rowan who tried to liquefy Alan for giving her some lip. Fortunately, it was saved by the interposition of a very unfortunate rhinoceros. And <laughs> since then, they have either accepted or simply not refused the Lady Rowan's hospitality. And so we join our heroes. Oh, I'm going to need to pick you guys up. Uh, we join our heroes as they take a rest and enjoy the bounty of unseelie fey hospitality. Does anybody uh, have any questions? Go ahead, Lysha. Does that mean long rest? Yes, it means long rest. You need oh, the spells. I'm separate from all of you. More oh. for me, it means the hit points. I was down to five, so yay! Right. I'm, I'm separate, right, Joe? You are still... You, you had accepted the Lady Rowan's invitation after you went and made your deal with the Kina. It, it, was, an, it was an exchange, though, between me and the Lady. But yeah, he Rowan. got sent to some, like, hall where he was feasting and eating, and we walked through a door. Is it into the same hall where he was? Oh, uh, it's roughly the same space, but you are allowed your separation. And I recall that you had made an exchange. You had not simply accepted her hospitality. You'd said, you know, I have to do something for you. She said, can you kill a big fuck off dragon? And you said, can I kill a big fuck off dragon? Why, yes. Uh, Is water wet? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. So. Oh, my God. Jesus Christ. There's a lot of things on the God. Well, I not mean, ominous at all. Well, okay. Let's adjust <laughs> our sound levels real quick. I feel like it's a playground just for us. <laughs> <laughs> Is Olerka still riding the bear? Yes. Y'all got any well, more I'm of those sure rhinos gummy to bears on that table, dude. I, I feel really <laughs> catered to right now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I mean, all of these creatures just look horrible. Uh, last time I mentioned, and you know, we discovered there's a bit of a generational gap, that this looks like you've walked into uh, a scene from somebody's Dark Crystal slash Labyrinth fan fiction. Where... I get you, John. Joke. <laughs> Words. Names. <laughs> it's it's a, a dark, gloomy forest glen filled with lights, but the lights themselves are in faded, fluttering, they, 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 they look like fireflies in 
violet and blue shades. They drift through the sky of this twilight realm without truly illuminating anything. The shadows hang long over the forest floor and the trees themselves rise upwards and you think you see out there somewhere, you don't see a, a sun or a moon of any kind, just a sort of gloaming light coming through the treetops. And all around you in this glen are all manner of creatures. There are goblins wrestling and fighting over food, digging in, just feasting themselves as grease and bones run down their faces. There are uh, a group of surly looking dwarves just leaning back against these great slabs of rock upon which are heaped all sorts of bizarre foodstuffs. You see carcasses of strange beasts that have been have, are on spits and have been roasted and have apples that are large and this sort of pale golden color stuffed into their dead, terrified eyes. You see plates full of cream stuffed bugs that have been deep fried. You see great vats of wine and ale and at the heart and there's rings of mushrooms on the ground and moss hanging from the trees all around you in this court and in the middle of the room there's a stone circle in the middle of this glade there's a great stone circle with standing stones all around it and it is a mosh pit of all sorts of bizarre fairy and goblin creatures just dancing around to this bizarre droning music playing through the air slamming into each other teeth go flying you occasionally hear people just getting ejected as they just go to town inside of this central circle and at the far end of the clearing on a great woven wooden throne sits the lady rowan herself eight feet tall glowing green skin a dress as black as night that hangs down to ephemeral tatters near the bottom her limbs too long her fingers too long ending in sharp claws stretching and bending unnaturally reaching all the way down to her shins she floats just above the ground even when she sits on her throne she doesn't seem to touch it and above her head floats a ghostly crown of an unearthly metal before her throne are two silent guardians wielding pikes whose blades appear to just be slabs of pure darkness holes in the world and a terrible hound sits at her feet that has a face a little bit too human too recognizable uh there's plenty of food and you're welcome to hang out what would you like to do for us he's not in kansas anymore hmm well i, I think i was eating right i was just digging in you no were already digging here in. when i when i joined yeah you'd already partaken of whatever this feast was yeah we never we didn't quite know what it was that you were doing we just walked in and saw it happening yeah, and you are off in a corner right now, Thoras. Again, the, the map is accurate if you guys start a fight. Otherwise, imagine this being a fairly free-form situation. <laughs> are there any right. figures of authority around? Does it look like there are... Any, um, daddies? are there... any daddies in the room? No, not daddies. I'm not looking for daddies. <laughs> I'm, looking for, I'm looking for people who seem to be kind of monitoring what's going on rather than partaking in what's going on. Uh, you've got the queen herself, who seems to be, a, you know, above and watching. And there's all sorts of strange figures lurking off in the shadows. Roll a perception check, please. Uh -huh. Boom. A 17. 17. Okay, what have we got for you? Um, there's a group of elves in this corner that are sort of keeping to themselves, keeping an eye out. Uh, two dryads whose hair are bri is briar thorns running down their backs, dance in a slow circle around these toadstools. There seems to be a group of cloaked figures and hooded figures off in this corner. And something, it, it's a little bit hard to tell Aside, that's all you can really get from here, but I bet that if you moved further in... Oh, we already said that this is somewhat abstract. Two figures labor over a bubbling, foul-smelling cauldron here, while a third picks mushrooms, sniffs them, sort of... And then adds them to her pouch as she collects more ingredients for the stew. 
There also appears to be a couple of smaller figures gathered around the throne itself. And we have an act of God. So let's just <laughs> cool. go ahead. Let's just... let's just go ahead and take care of that. Uh, everyone roll a d20. It's, I don't remember who drew the last act of God, unless you someone remembers. I believe I drew the last act of God. Great. Think, but I could be wrong. Excellent. It, uh, barring any objections, Sideshow, why don't you go ahead and draw from the oh, 20 wonderful. deck? You're welcome. Thank you, Lysha. Where did that go? That's on my person now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, Alan O'Dale's got his beautiful card ready to go. Oh, I can steal your card. Don't you can bother. ask to steal a card. Oh. Favorable oh. wind. Okay. All right. So go ahead and take that one back. Oh. Uh, and, and just hold I, on to it. I'm not sure it. how to take it back. If you right click, it. can you take oh, it? Oh, take it. There we go. Right. Yep. I'll there you go. It. No, I've taken it. Yeah, I'll, so. I'll try and steal it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where is this guy? I added him. Denied. Yeah, I, I got to choose two options there. It was let it go or no way. <laughs> and I chose the Nickelodeon cartoon. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it's slime time. Uh, okay, hold on to that. You, uh, no way. <laughs> Mitch, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, just because I'm not playing a rogue doesn't mean I can't be one, you know, out of game. Mm, I just got a steal request for every single one that I had. Uh, <laughs> es es essentially, Alan, uh, a, a gentle wind drifts in from a distant land, and it it's cool and refreshing and comforting, even in this unfamiliar place. And no it way! <laughs> oh my god. All right, so the YouTube episode title will be No Way. That's confirmed. Uh, it, it's refreshing, and it sort of g gives you hope, and in your moment of need, you may call upon it. Right. So okay. you, you may use that when uh, the shit hits the fan. That'd be useful when we kill everything in this room. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, that ain't happening, <laughs> is it? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wander over to the... Um, I'm going to wander over to... The, wait, do I speak Elvish? Let me just check quickly. Yes, I do. I'm going to wander over to the elves over on the right-hand side. Mm -hmm. And as I wander towards them, I'm going to try and disguise my appearance to, uh, to look more elvish. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I'm essentially what I'm aiming to do here is just I'm going to wander from group to group, making myself look like I fit in and mm -hmm. trying, to, trying to figure out what everyone's up to. How are you going to make just... yourself look like you fit in here? <laughs> do I, I mean, like... I'm an elf with a fisheye and gills. Do I fit in? Actually, yeah. <laughs> mm. I'm going to accentuate my elven appearance. I'm mm -hmm. going to don dark clothing, a hood, uh, shave my eyebrows off. You know, that <laughs> nice, kind of nice, all yeah. the regular Just kind of stuff in, you, you know? need to fit in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. I cast 50, uh, I cast 1,000 subs and immediately lose all eyebrows. Uh, roll a persuasion check and an insight check. In order to eleven make... persuasion, you rolled a two. Yep, Ooh. and a ten insight. <laughs> you oh rolled my a five. lord! Uh, okay, so you—they don't rebuff you, but it is sort of that thing where, like, they don't close the circle away from you, but they also don't make an effort to include you in their conversation. Okay. Uh, well. It, and they're fairly inscrutable. They they are speaking in Elvish, but there's some other language that they slip into here and there that you are not familiar with. All right. Well, uh, over to the cloaked figures in the top left. All right. Two seconds, guys, sorry. No worries. Uh, while you're doing that, Aaron, what are you going to do? I don't think he heard you. Yeah, I might have missed me. Aaron, what are you oh, doing? Sorry. No, no, it's fine. Um, uh, who, what are these over here? Uh, those appear to be a couple of extremely drunk dwarves. Really? Yeah. <laughs> do, do, do drunken dwarves speak common? Uh, good question. They're, they are wearing burlap pants and shirts. Like, they're wearing burlap sacks tied on with dirty twine and frayed rope. 
Okay. Uh, they have no boots. Their feet, their toenails and feet are just fil- encrusted with grossness. Uh, then they're wearing like just a weird leather hat, and they they look grimy. And they're just sitting there, you know, with food all around them, just. Gotcha. And and what are these people? Those folk roll perception check. Fifteen. All right. So four of them are very, very small, like gnome or, or halfling sized. Right. And they, they are cover, absolutely covered with cloaks. They've moved away from where all the fey lights are drifting around, and they've shrouded themselves in complete darkness. They're wearing cloaks, they're wearing hoods, they're wearing cowls that cover their faces. Uh, four of them, like I said, are sort of shorter. One of them stands head and shoulders easily above the rest. They have, you do notice, they have hooved feet, and their knees bend the wrong way. Yikes! No! What? <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Huh? All right. Um, goats. Yes, yes. The, the dwarves. I think Aaron wants to hang out with the dwarves. Um, is there any like a uh, drink? Does it look like this is like normal wine, or can I can I ascertain the difference between these vats of uh, whatever you've explained and and normal ordinary wine? Yeah. Uh, there's a wide variety. If you're looking for booze versus food, um, the wine is sort of this dark crimson, almost like brownish and it smells astrid it just smells so strong uh, okay ah oh, fuck it i'll get some of that anyway i just okay. don't want to t- i don't want to touch the bugs with cream in it um yeah <laughs> I-, I have a sip of the wine i hope it doesn't kill me it- <laughs> <laughs> okay uh you you knock back a sip of the wine it is so bitter oh my god this stuff is just blah blah lots of tannin Roll a constitution saving throw. Uh, I hate to see it though. 15. Okay, your stomach churns and you go from zero to drunk Dang! immediately. Oh my wow. God. If you'd failed, you would have thrown up. And you're not drunk as in like inhibited and impaired, but you're drunk as in like, you shouldn't get behind the wheel of a car, but you could probably do just about anything else. And okay. you like th- this this strong sense of of sadness and but not not the kind of sadness that makes you just want to go mope in the corner but the sadness that makes you just want to talk a lot runs over you and you know the it's been a long time since you've you've had anyone special in your life you've had you know plenty of dalliances along the way and one of those would really help fill that hole in your heart right now but Oh, would it really ever do the job? Yes, yeah, because oh. love my life went skittering off on a cloud sent by like a freaking blast of fire. You yes, know? snatched away from you literally by the gods. So you're super melancholy and thinking about that a lot, just immediately. Damn, I didn't know I was one of those drunks. That's all right. <laughs> it's one of those wines. Uh, 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 you know, you, ever, you guys ever wonder when we're going to be done with all this? All this running around and, and portals and I mean this food is even... the dwarves. Oh, <laughs> Who are you talking to? oh that's why right. Josh walked off, isn't he? Yeah. Um... Josh is back. Um Ash walked oh, yeah, off. Well, if Thoris is in the corner, I guess I'm not saying to anyone in particular, just the group, you know. It's like mm-hmm. narrating I'm narrating over my left shoulder. I don't really know who's there. <laughs> I'm very I'm very pensive and melancholy as I look out at this like odd collection, you know. Mm-hmm. I just want to go, just go the fuck home and not have to worry about this shit. I I don't think I've actually cut something with my sword for like two whole arcs. It just bounces off every time. <laughs> I mean, sometimes like, I don't know, he's just having an existential crisis. Also, he doesn't really want to, he doesn't really want to go to this wedding. So the, the closer he gets, he's almost hoping to start a fight and, and get them like kicked out of the ferry. <laughs> he's not doing I, it, but he's thinking about it. Oh, there's plenty <laughs> of opportunities. It. I'm going to look over my shoulder as he says this, uh, as I walk over to the cloaked people and say, uh, if you get in the middle of that mosh pit, you you might get exactly what you're looking for. Are they like, trying to hurt each other or? They're succeeding. Uh, does it look like a brawl? Uh, wherever the red caps go in there, it becomes a brawl. But 
it's nobody's stopping it right like people go in there and they just start beating each other up and people are just moshing so there's a brawl in the middle of the mosh and somebody gets ejected and somebody vanishes and gets trampled and it, it just keeps going and keeps going hmm. Aaron is eyeing off the mosh pit with some interest hmm. we want to blow off some steam you know without getting in trouble for actually hitting anyone because it seems to be so accepted here mm -hmm. hmm Thoras, what would you like to do? Again, you you would not start out in this area. You would probably uh, you're welcome to be anywhere else. You're welcome to be near the throne if you'd like with your own spread. Hmm. Yeah, I think I'd be near the throne, just kind of. All right. You know, I think uh, I, my my goal is to kind of uh, make a an entrance for myself. Mm -hmm. Um. But since then, I've just been eaten. Enjoying the company of all these fine individuals. <laughs> Upstanding folks. Yep. I don't know. All right. Uh, there's some wings nearby, like a whole bunch of hot wings. There's some, some fried, large fried insects of some sort. There's a, a large haunch you could dig into. Mm. How many Scovilles? <laughs> Good question. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Goliath cuisine, I don't think there's much spice involved. Mm -hmm. You know, it's generally quite yeah. bland, but uh, the insects are tickling my fancy. Mm. They're like this them. big. They're pretty large, and they've been battered yeah. and fried. It's like Timon oh, and Pumbaa absolutely. showing uh, Simba the wonders of the jungle. <laughs> <you know? laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm down. I'm just going to chow down You're gonna on eat some? insect. All right. Yeah, it's a classic Goliath cuisine, of course. Oh. You start. All right, you start crunching oh. down on them, and... When you, you take a bite and you know, the outside is is light and flaky with a little little bit of oil, you know, kind of like donuts. It's, it's nice. Uh -huh. uh, and the meat is really, really light and it's got this strange sweetness to it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's it's not unpleasant. And when you take a bite, there's this sort of little tingle of chimes the first time that you take a bite of it. It's pretty good. Tingle of chimes. Well, I had a cotton saving throw. Oh, I guess it was for the alcohol, not the yeah, yeah. awfulness of it. I mean, I... Take a yeah. cotton saving throw, you get fat, Thoris. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think out of character, something wrong is happening, if I'm hearing <laughs> chimes. But in character, Thoris doesn't know about enchantments oh, or anything. I, I imagine that Thoris will continue to eat. That's what he would do. Yeah, I mean, scenario. you can put away a lot of these things. They're just exactly. Oh. Yeah, it's sweet. It's it's. It reminds me of the the recipes back home. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what are you drinking? There's wine. There's ale. There's a, a couple of other options actually. This this completely clear thing, served in tiny little vials, like tiny little pour bottles, mm. little t uh, glass I pitchers knew. is what I'm looking for. Hmm. If you oh, went to church as a child, they're they're about yay big, you know. Okay, nice. okay. Uh, he's I gonna think. Thoros is gonna stay away from the alcohol because you mm -hmm. know he needs to be ready for a fight. That's fair. Um, uh, and that's why he's decided to just eat all the food in the fairy kingdom. Really smart decision. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I guess he'd go for the the clear liquid that looks like water. Okay. Uh, it is salty in sort of like an electrolyte sort of way. Cool. Um, not like a seawater, but you know, like, like, Gatorade, a, like Gatorade without the sugar, like an alkaline water sort of thing. Okay. Uh, roll a wisdom saving throw. Cool. <laughs> Flat 15. Okay. You have an immediate, sir, like you feel a lot better. You just, you don't know if you were betrayed by your friends. You do know they tried to cut off your nipples and it was really, you know... <laughs> sort of traumatic yeah um and things went off but really that doesn't it doesn't bother you so much they were just playing you know it's 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 they fun to really play cut off my nipples they weren't really gonna they cut were just, off your nipples even if we were it was just for fun yeah you know yeah. kids do stuff like that all the time it's a laugh <laughs> old goliath game <laughs> <laughs> you old cut the nipple off game. <laughs> it's like the it's like the got your nose thing taken to its illogical extreme uh so <laughs> Yeah, you 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 feel much much more kindly about them now. It's hmm. Lysha. Nothing more to say. Let's let's turn to Lysha. Uh, what? So, Alan just walked off to go talk to a group of 
edgy looking elves in the corner. Aaron okay. took took a swig of the wine and started waxing poetic about being tired of this life and and you know wishing it was all behind him and wondering when it's going to come to end and missing home. Just sort of got talky and melancholy. Thoris is nowhere to be seen, and there's uh, just this riotous scene before you. Okay. Do I know those two in front of me are dryads? Yes. You would immediately be able to identify them as dryads. Roll a nature check. Seven, okay. uh, 16. Yeah, these are Duskthorn dryads. They're the spirits of thorn-bearing creeper vines rather than trees. Uh, they usually okay. seek out dead tree. Like, instead of inhabiting a tree, they find a dead tree and their vines dwell upon it. Uh, they are not evil, but they are chaotic, and they take no shit. I'm just stoked there are dryads. I think that checks out for Lysha and her whole nature-loving <laughs> druid thing. So, like, I know there are elves off to the right, but she's kind of more like, oh, dry. So she's kind of, like, walking up to them, not trying not to be, like, too in awe because she knows mm -hmm. she's supposed to be, like, possessed enough of herself when a a approaching these two, but mm -hmm. um, she kind of wants to come up and maybe try and converse with them definitely respectfully and probably, you know, in her wide-eyed, gooey, good nature, uh, <laughs> she would, um, oh, beautiful nature spirits, I am so blessed to be in your presence. Roll a persuasion check with disadvantage. Ah, shit. <laughs> I am not persuasive to start with. Well, that's a bad well, start. Oh, no. Oh, no. The second one would have been a nat 20 if it rolled in D&D &D Beyond, but, uh, here. <laughs> Unlucky. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered, but... It wouldn't have mattered if I'm uh, doing it with disadvantage, so nine. They give you a bit of a mean girl's look and just continue. They're doing, like, a slow ritual dance around this toadstool circle. <laughs> mean girls. Um... Lysha's never been around Mean Girls, so <laughs> she probably is unaware. That Lysha's that's never seen the movie right. Mean Girls. She hasn't. She, I mean, she's both intelligent and wise, so she's probably a little bit aware that she's just been given the brush off, but, mm. like, she knows nature can be tough sometimes, and these girls are literally prickly. So, mm -hmm. um... She would probably, like... Not wanting to offend, but she'd be, like, watching their steps around the circle, kind of mm -hmm. trying to take them in, like, considering trying to dance with them. But she also doesn't want to offend. So she's mm -hmm. trying to, like, study the steps of the dance so she could do it right without, without pissing somebody off. Okay. Also, she's trying to keep her eyes open for something that might be a good gift for a fae wedding because she gave away her gift for the um, fae wedding. Yes. <laughs> Refresh me. Exactly what went down with that? You gave away... I gave away the stardust mm -hmm. to uh, the Ifrit to give to Sin to yes. mend the relationship that That's had been broken by Alan. Like, everyone be friends again. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Okay. Uh, meanwhile, Alika sees this entire spread of food and walks over to go grab um, some sort of like a chocolatey long form cookie of some sort. Chocolatey. Mm. Oh, <laughs> time to order some because you've made me hungry for dessert. Mm. <laughs> My bad. Also, would this ring of toadstools like a fairy circle mean anything to Lysha? Roll nature. Yes, you you would automatically recognize that there's some sort of mystical, you know, something to it. You know that much already. Nature. Six. All right, so oftentimes, toadstool circles in the mortal world are places where the veil between the other world and the mortal world grows thin. They're crossing points. They're often inhabited or special to fairies. There'll be specific fairies that'll dance there, and if a mortal treads inside of the circle, uh, they might cross over to the other world. They might annoy the fairies who are dancing there. Uh, here in the Unseelie Feywilds, it's probably like a locus point of, of magical energy. And it could be a cross. It's unlikely that it's a crossing to the mortal world. It's more likely a, a, a natural ritual circle that would amplify magic. Okay. All right. Uh, 
Alika digs in and Korak the bear lumbers over and just he he digs into something there's this big puffy meat of some sort and he takes a bite out of it and it <laughs> bursts and this awful smell rises up from it <laughs> starts licking it off and just starts licking up the, the the goo that has emerged from this thing he goes to town Alan what will you do Alan is going over to talk to the cloaked fellows at the top left. All right, go ahead and move yourself over. Okay. Uh, where am I? There I am. Yep. So I'm going to wander over towards them. I'm going to um, use my hat of disguise mm -hmm. to, uh, to make myself seem somewhat similar to them. I'm not going to try and blend in completely. I'm not going to try and disguise myself as one of them, but just someone mm -hmm. that I think they would hang around with. Some similarly cloaked ruffian. Okay. Uh, I'm going to wander guy mode. over. Yeah. I'm going to wander over and, uh, again, just try and make some, some small talk with them. How do you do, them. fellow kids? <laughs> <laughs> Not so much a how do you do, fellow kids, but I'm going to glance over at Thoras, who's stuffing his face, uh, and I'm just going to... They, they look elvish, right? The, sh the shorter ones do not. Uh, they have... Ah. Again, their knees bend the wrong way, and they have hooved feet. And oh, I sharp... thought that was the people in the far top left. Yeah. Oh, so... No, I'm, a, I'm a these, like, black-cloaked figures underneath. Oh, these ones here? No. no the, uh, these, these are the ones yeah. with, the, with the backwards legs right here. Oh, those are the ones with the backwards legs. Yes. There is a group of folks over here, however, and you recognize them. There were lots of them in the Starless Market with... Uh, they're wearing metal bracers that seem to have like piercings that go into their flesh. Uh, they're all keeping very quietly to themselves. They are armed to the teeth. They've got knives and swords and spike chains. They are clearly, you know, packing. Okay. Well, packing. yeah, we're going to. What horizon is this about to get? <laughs> we're going to go over to the clogged people with backwards legs then, because okay. they seem more reasonable than the others, <laughs> I suppose. <laughs> Um, and I'm gonna just say to them in. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna shout not shout at them in common. I'm gonna walk over and say to them in common. I'm gonna I'm gonna point over at Thoras and go. Some people here are just fucking pigs, and just see what the response is. They look Great at way you. to test the waters with like a really strong sentiment. <laughs> Polarizing. They they look at you. They look at each other, and they converse in a language that I'm not sure that you understand. It seems to be an offshoot of, do you speak Sylvan? No, I don't speak okay. Sylvan. It, it's like proto-Latin for Elvish. It's the language of the Fae. Uh, it's mm. older and there, you know, you walk into, you're, you're a tourist and you walk into a place and everyone just immediately starts saying, look at the, <laughs> in my case, look at the dumb American. Um, yeah, and they're not saying it in a language you understand, but you immediately know, like, oh, okay. Speaking mm. in, in common here, like, so maybe you stand out like a sore thumb. I might see. Have, I might see. have had a shot otherwise. Okay. Uh, so uh, Sylvan's like is old English is to English similarly yeah. discernible, but technically the root language. Yes, yes, older than not like Middle Shakespearean, etc., but like the old English. You know what I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, like Chaucer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, well then, I'm gonna I'm gonna double down on this, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna say, um, all right, we're we're gonna go for uh, we're gonna go for a play here. But I'm gonna instead talk to them in Elvish and say, oh, I, I, I'm sorry, little, I'm sorry, little ones. I thought you were little hobbled humans. That's why I address you in common. Let me see if I can show you a picture of what they look like. You already killed your spirit animal, Josh. <laughs> Listen, if you if you're dealing with ruffians, you got to show that you're the kind to be a bit of a dick yourself. Otherwise, they don't they they're not going to treat you fairly. You know, you gotta you gotta be a gotta be a a, a dickhead if you're dealing with dickheads. He, says as he sips at his brandy. What the hell are you even drinking? But no, this is horrific Jack Daniels that I'm just trying to get through because we because uh, I have I've got it left in the house and there's nothing else to drink. That is a that is a bad time. 
All right, so they all look at you. They all just Im immediately turn to look at you, clearly offended and not like, you know, taking out their fans and getting the vapors offended, but knives out offended. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, before they can say anything, I go like, you five want a wager? <laughs> sit, sit. What? Sorry. They, pa they pause. I bet if uh, let's uh, let's give each other two minutes. I bet I can cause more chaos in here than you two can, uh, than you five can, all put together. <laughs> <laughs> the oh, elder, okay. the tall one amongst them, speaks, and w in Elvish. What's on the line? Uh, uh, at this point, when you get when you got when you got something of everything, nothing really scratches the itch. Honestly, uh, I'm open to suggestions. Uh, uh, some 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 hunk of some hunk of flesh in here. Some. Uh, Gold and silver don't really do it for me anymore, honestly. I'm just searching for the thrill. Oh my god. All right. How about names? Who? Oh. Names? Mm hmm. Would that mean anything to Alan? You. Alan's a bard. Alan can roll arcana, really history. Knows. Like, Alan can roll whatever he wants. Yeah, go on then. I'm going to. I'm gonna roll an arcana check. I mean, I uh, wait, uh, an arcana or history? Uh, what am I proficient in more than anything else? Uh, I'll roll a history check, I guess. Okay. I mean, I a twenty-five. There are many tales of the Fey. Mortal, if you know a mortal's name, it doesn't give you any special power over them. But if you if you know a Fey's true name or an Infernal's true name or other entities like that, it allows you to bind them. But there are fairy stories a fae who take people's names away, giving them the power mm. to completely change them, transform them, and bind them. So if they took your name, they could turn you into someone else and mm. do all sorts of things. If you took their name, then they would have to obey you, at least to a degree. Mm. Uh, then I'm gonna, I'm gonna respond with uh, presumably all five of yours. Judging how the bet is weighed in your favor, anyway. Hmm. Well, persuasion. Unless, oh, go on. I was yep. going to say, unless unless you've managed to uh, acquire any other notable ones that you're willing to trade on ownership of. I mean, I assume it works in that way, right? Like, yeah. if they've yeah, already got someone's name, they could. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Unless you've got any particularly juicy ones you're hanging on to. Hmm. Would they? Would they? Would they? Would they? Yeah, we've Would got. They? A, we, <laughs> yeah, they've got a good one. Is it? Is that it? They just they just nod and kind of smile to themselves. They don't tell me anything more about the the name that they're offering me. I'll give you a hundred names that I have wagered against yours. At this point in the conversation, do I do I have a feel for uh, who or what they are? They are Fey of some sort. They're again. They're sort of flinching away from the light. If it, whenever it it drifts near them, as a half elf, you have dark vision, so you can see just fine here. Uh, give me a nature check. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. So you may have heard of these. They were once there. There was a fay of the Seely Court who betrayed. Neve of the golden hair, the lady who's getting married. Oh. And as punishment, 
she struck his name from all history and cursed every single member of his house so that light kills them. Anytime that light touches them, it ages them and then they, they wither. And so all of them, they've been, they hide from light because it is literally fatal to them ever since then. They love art, they love beauty, but most of it's denied to them because of their affliction. And Moonbeam. <laughs> Moonbeam would, they would not enjoy that. I'm just uh, kidding. The, the elder has undergone a special rite that purges some of the light from them and allows them to resume more of their, their old original shape. Okay. When they die, all the light that they've absorbed in their life bursts from them in, in one last sort of beat. Sorry, it's fatal to them, but they absorb light? Yeah. It, it's like it, when it touches them, it makes them age and wither. Okay. But it gets but it's stored, kind of stored up. in their body. Mm -hmm. Ooh, like, yeah, like a thickness, right? Yeah, just like, a quick question for you. If yes. I like cast Minor Illusion, can I yeah. create light or just the appearance of light? Just the hey, appearance gonna, of light. I know a light can trip if you want one. Light cantrip would not do it. A daylight spell would do it. Uh, okay. Sunbeam, moonbeam, etc. would all be, you know, a big deal. Gotcha. I think I know daylight also. That would frag them. That would Is kill them all. Though? They would they would explode. No, it's not prepared. Gotta prepare those spells. Well, you okay. Well, I didn't know where we were going, well, per se. I mean, we took known. a long rest, but, like, I didn't... I'm just gonna realistically say she didn't change too much. Right. Well then, um, well then, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a seat mm -hmm. with a with a smug little smile on my face and say, "Very well then. Let's see the best you can do." And I'm gonna start counting down from 120 just to just to force their hand in to go in first. I could pop wings in front of him. No freaking man. Oh, wait. <laughs> do we have a deal? Your you one hundred so names. Clever. <laughs> your one hundred names mm -hmm. for mine. We'll see who can cause the most chaos in this room within one hundred and twenty seconds. Um, so you, what? so you swear. We have a deal. We have a deal. <laughs> oh, my oh my god! And I'm gonna start counting down. Okay, let's uh, let's move over to Aaron <laughs> before the shit hits the fan. Um, right. Um, yeah, Aaron, Aaron's interest is piqued by this mosh pit. Seems mm -hmm. like there's like boisterous display. It doesn't seem to really be considered unsavory by any of the onlookers. Purely mm -hmm. just, uh, you nothing's know, unsavory here. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, red caps will be red caps kind of thing. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah, Aaron, Aaron's been in a couple bar tussles. He's not looking to fight, but you know, he wouldn't mind jumping. I don't know. I've been in a mosh pit before, out of game. It was fun until I got elbowed, but you know. Yep. Like, well, that's a little bit of expulsion of energy. So, you know, Aaron will go in there, try not to uh, try not to target anyone, but he wants to see what their reaction is when he steps into the ring. Okay. Uh, as you step into the ring, you notice there's, well, roll a perception check first off. There are all sorts of creatures in here. There's a lot of goblins. There are a few red caps. The survivors, the ones who didn't get liquefied by the Lady Rowan, are here. And there is blood on their boots. Uh, and there are some bodies mashed into the stones here. Oh, shit. I did not see that beforehand. People yeah, once you get closer, killed, you can see bro. that. Uh, and rather, like, the reaction as you enter is this surge of force. You know how crowds move. It's this surge yeah. of force to just draw you in and, and pull you into just the absolute tumult oh. of violence you also notice it's really slippery oh, uh, there's, far out. This is, oh. there's oil everywhere and running around like even shorter than the goblins are these bizarre little fairies uh completely bald wrinkly little they, they've got gray skin and these solid white eyes and they're coated with this slick oily goo uh they've got huge overbites and uh, hair coming out of their ears, their long pointed ears, just tiny, little, small with large heads. And this this slippery oil just is leaking from them and they're slithering around inside the mosh pit. Anytime that anybody would like smack them or crash into them or, or grab them or whatever, they just 
like a bar of soap just slip out and that is not helping in terms of keeping things you know no i imagine it, it isn't yeah so roll an athletics check for me followed oh by a dexterity save oh okay <laughs> oh no i'm a plus seven bro <laughs> You got a three. Nice. Roll dexterity check. Uh, save. Save. Baby three. Come on, baby! No! Twelve. Come on, dude. Oh, man. You go down, like, in, ah! almost immediately. You're not flat prone getting stomped on by the iron boots, but you're sort of like, you, you slip and fall on your ass, and oh, there's just shit. elbows and goblins and iron boots kicking <laughs> into you. It's not like they're all ganging up on you. They're just flailing in every single direction. Uh, so you take uh, eight points of damage as oh, that's brutal. you vanish into the violence. Hey, guys. Uh. Uh, what do you do? Right by goo fairies. Thank you, chat. <laughs> what do I do? Yes. I, I will be just trying to get out. Trying to get back up to my feet and trying to get out of there. <laughs> okay. I thought this was all fun and games. It looks so different from afar. It looked almost just like playful boy. I mean, the mm -hmm. creatures look strange, but look at my party, right? That wasn't really right. enough to freak me out. But when I got close enough, when my asthma was away from my eyes, I realized that these people were actually just trying to kill each other very slowly. And uh, yeah, I didn't, uh, I didn't want any of that. And I also rolled really badly. So now I'm just going to try and fucking get out of this pit of death. As, ah! as you do that, uh, two of the folks in this pit, uh, let me go ahead and point to this guy right here and this guy right here. They are elven looking figures with antenna, these sort of fibrous antenna coming out in their lower halves. Imagine a satyr, except instead of being a person crossed with a goat, it's a person crossed with like a, a praying mantis. They've got oh these insectoid God. lower legs and these antennae popping out instead of horns. And as you go into the pit, they step apart and start stomping their feet and they pull out pipes that are made from beaks and bones and cartilage, just these bizarre, and they blow into them in this alien the brown tune noise. comes out. The brown uh, noise. <laughs> they play the brown note, yes. <laughs> Roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh, crap. All right. Okay. You suddenly get this urge to just start dancing in the middle of the pit and not stop. Uh, but you shake it off. You're a trained warrior. You've, you've been in the fighting pits before. It's time to get out. Roll a strength saving throw. Come on. Oh my god. Jesus I'm, Christ, you're rolling use, so badly. I'm going to use my indomitable trait to fucking re-roll that. I do not okay. want to play it. <laughs> well, That's still terrible. Okay, so uh, we're going to do good news, bad news. Uh, <laughs> um... Yeah, good news, bad news. The good news is you managed to crawl out of the pit, just like sliding through the oil and the blood and there's some teeth lying around on the ground. The bad news is on your way out, a red cap just jumps into the air with his iron boots and lands on you, knocking the, the air right out of your lungs. You take 16 bludgeoning damage. Wow. I'm getting shit on. <laughs> as you eject <laughs> from damage. the violent fairy mosh pit. To the sound just, of laughter all around. A dice for a little bit. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and move yourself uh, somewhere. And there's laughter. There's mocking laughter from people outside the pit, but inside the pit, they just keep going. They don't even pay attention to you. Unlucky. Unlucky. Super <laughs> unlucky. All right, uh, Thoras. I'm going to give you and Lysha. Oh, actually, yeah, meanwhile. Alika and the bear are just, mm, what's this? Oh, no, no. Look, it's a peach cobbler. I think those are peaches at least. Delicious. Oh my uh, God. <laughs> Delicious. So I'm going to give you two one more round before Alan O'Dale does something fucking awful. And oh, continue. Okay. And anyways, uh, Thor Thoras, anything? Um, do I see Aaron? 
on the floor. <laughs> yeah, you, you'd see him just get ejected and stomped on. And remember, after whatever that, you know, electrolyte drink you had was, you're feeling a lot more, you're inclined, you still have your free will, but you are inclined to be a lot more charitable towards your party. All right, I'm going to uh, go towards the edge. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to uh, use an extra appendage. Uh, not a not a tentacle, of course, because that mm, daddy, what kind of my appendage? nipples chewed off. Uh, although, you know, <laughs> daddy's appendage is that what you just said? Send me the send me the dong of saving. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta I gotta make it essentially materialize out of my lightning spear harness rope. Okay, as it swivels around my arm and. I thought you mean your, your rippling jock strap, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And it's gonna animate itself into kind of like a snake-like motion as it okay um, it wraps around Aaron's leg Keep and going. tries to yoink him out. Okay, um, is that ability written on your character sheet? Uh, no. Actually, Aaron, are you going to resist this or no? Um, I don't think so. I think I'm. I just took sixteen bludgeoning damage, so I'm probably pretty dazed right now. I'm probably don't even realize. I don't. It depends how big the appendage is. And I, I don't want to assume. I just. I don't. I can't <laughs> tell really like how. All how, right, but I mean, yeah. Something grabs you and drags you to safety. Okay, <laughs> I think I'm good with that. All right. What? Yeah. Anything else, Thoras? I'm just gonna walk back to the buffet. Okay. Thoras, <laughs> just keep chewing on the insects. All right. Chime ring. Yep. Keep hearing the chimes on. I don't know what that is. Uh, well, she was going to come try to save you, but you've been saved. So. Ah, uh, thanks. Um, oh. That was an alarm. Um, so she's been watching these footsteps, uh, these dance steps from these dryads going around mm -hmm. the mushroom circle. Uh, she is inclined to give it a whirl okay. herself. Um, so she's kind of like standing behind them at the moment, like not quite mm -hmm. joining them yet. Cause she's just like trying to do the steps over here. Like, okay, am I doing this right? Does it look right? People are probably looking at weird. Um, Slide. and then she feels a little bit more comfortable. Um, she just kind of confidently step in alongside them and start trying to dance. Hey, and yells, hey, hey Macarena. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Roll a performance. The electric slide. Oh no. Well, performance I can't perform. check. Uh, okay. I can't even believe in yourself. You were drew from circle believe. of ass wiping. You can perform. <laughs> in oh, my she got perform. Oh, I well, did not, not perform. Not <laughs> okay. I probably just offended them. Um. We are we are cocking this up proper good. <laughs> watch watch yeah, Alan, um, like Alan makes his bet, and then he just stands back and lets the rest of the quest for the Book of Dawn just <laughs> fuck things up. <laughs> It would be but, like walking away from explosion, except he's still in the explosion radius. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a question for you. Do fungi count as plants? Yes, they do. Okay, I was just curious if I tried to talk to the mushroom. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, um, he's going to do the mushroom voice. <laughs> okay. No, it's just a hypothetical. Just prepare yourself. Just a yeah. hypothetical. As, as you begin your dance, you stumble and fall out of line and step on one of the mushrooms. It crumbles beneath your feet and a, a cloud of gray, dull, brownish spores just poof, rises up. It's the Underrot Dungeon. No. <laughs> okay. Um, sorry, go ahead. Unless you have something else to say, roll a constitution saving throw. Well, I'll probably still have to do that because I don't think I can make them all grow. Mm -hmm. But technically, I feel like those would be seeds, right? Yes. Could I use my druid craft to make them turn into mushrooms? I can make seeds sprout. <laughs> what, did, so you're saying you're going to turn the spores into mushrooms? Yeah. Oh. Hi, seed. Do they Hi, count seed. as seed? Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. He said I'm... they counted as plants. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that seems, that seems fair. Okay, so like <laughs> as you step on it, you just go, mushrooms. Mushrooms. But I can only, I think it's like, honestly, obviously a cloud of spores is a lot. So realistically, mm -hmm. I'll probably still have to do because I think I can, it says a seed pod. I'm going to say I probably can't do all of them at the same time. I don't know, unless you say that I can. What? In so like, it's, a, it's a cantrip. That's in, also in, why. in a mechanical, not weird sense, what is Lysha wearing? <laughs> uh, pretty much the costume that I wore 
at D and D is basically what I've always kind of pictured her. Okay. She's uh, she technically actually. Oh, let me look at her armor. Um, I think she has leather armor. Okay. The the spores as they rise up and float towards you and you hit them with that they burrow into your leather armor and fibrous you know whatever fungi I have instead of roots grow through the armor as it gets infested with these toadstools and they start to pop out all over the place. I am now wearing toadstool armor. Yep. Cool. <clears throat> I have made the toadstools in my armor turn. Well, at least my armor's toadstools and not fungus. Do I need to roll a con save still? Not yet. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, am I getting eaten by mushrooms? Not yet. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. Better sauté yourself or, or face oh, consequences. No. Okay. So I know from stepping on one of these that if I touch them, they're just going to explode. Mm-hmm. Lysha's people go skyclad a lot, so she's real considering ripping off all her clothes right now. <laughs> also, she feels like that would be socially acceptable here. Plus, it I might pass. just look like I fit in. It would pass. It would not. It uh, would no, pass. It, it would pass. This is this is a rowdy <laughs> place. Um, anything else? Yeah, she's gonna start ripping off her clothes because the mushrooms are freaking her out. Okay. And she stepped on one and it exploded. And she's all in right. fairyland. Everything's weird. But your AC, dude. No. <laughs> Well, goodbye armor. My AC was already pretty low. F for the armor. Uh, all right. It only went down by one point. <laughs> really? That's yeah, awful. I had leather armor. It's not... Huh. I went from 13, 14 to 13. Like. All right. Into Everybody hits me anyway. <laughs> Alan. Alan's just... Alan is counting down mm-hmm. while... And he's... So here's the plan. All right, Joe, for Alan. So he's aiming to count down from 120 and try and create as much chaos with these cloaked folks as possible. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, he's going to, uh, while they're distracted causing chaos, trying to do as much as they possibly can, otherwise all of their names are going to be forfeit, um, he's going to keep the cast minor illusion in that place Mm-hmm. of him counting down and he's going to try and s- sneak over to the other guys that were incredibly uh, bristling with armor and weapons and such mm-hmm. and spread rumors about the cloaked people wanting to fuck them w- wanting to fuck with them rather not fuck them <laughs> he's not spreading <laughs> sexual rumors yeah um okay so, so that, that's that's his plan for the meantime in that 120 seconds so they are going to slip into the darkness at the edges of the grove and mm. practically vanish. I'm going to roll a stealth check uh, with advantage because they're, oh. very, they're very, very good at this. But advantage and roll stealth. What's your passive perception? Mm, good question. Uh, 19. 19? Oh my. How do you have a 19 for your passive... Oh, Dude, I, I don't bards. know. I'm like, I'm an incredibly fucking wise bard. <laughs> Do you have the alertness feed or something? That's outrageous. I don't, I don't know. It says passive is that, perception. Is that your, is, where do you see that? Is that your it's passive wisdom? It's on the left-hand wisdom? side. Yeah, passive wisdom perception is 19. My passive oh my intelligence God. is 17. My oh. passive wisdom insight is 15. So I've got a, like a plus four in terms of my perception advantage in wisdom passive. Mine's an 18, so yours is better. Oh, but... my God. My passive yeah. wisdom in insight is eight. Okay, well, Wait, I, I, I see them. <laughs> oh yeah, you you see them, and I'm I'm not going to drag them around on the map. Well, I'll do a little bit, but you notice that they are moving in the same direction as you, but they are not stopping. They are going that way, sort of oh, obscured for for our uh, television viewers at home. Uh, they're they're making they're their way. They're sneaking behind the throne. Yes. Right. Okay. You may have fucked up. And um, do they look suitably occupied for me to be able to execute part two of my plan? It depends on how long you wait, because you have 20 rounds. It doesn't fuck ton of rounds. (laughs) It is is a lot of time, but you know. I'm trying to find... I, I reckon that the time in which to 
cause uh, cause dissent in these other groups. Mm-hmm. I reckon it would take like forty seconds. So most, I'm I'm, most I'm happy to wait. You know, at least a minute for them to become fully distracted. I'm trying to choose my Two. my time. Eighteen seconds. I'm I'm also gonna look around like at the 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 guard dog and the guards and the mm-hmm. lady Rowan and try and perceive whether they are bothered or even notice that these this group of weird uh weird elf looking things have creeped behind them. They have paid them no mind. The guards are they look like just huge, ogre sized, immensely buff elves. Mm. Uh, the creepy dog is sitting at her the feet of her throne getting scritches from her long spindly glowing fingers Mm. and she seems to be speaking with two individuals here and here Mm. one of them is an elven woman in an incredibly elaborate dress and headdress and the other one appears to be some sort of cat person with glowing green eyes they're all conversing in sylvan which unfortunately you don't understand and just sort of watching the absolute violence going down in the mosh pit okay all right in less than a minute roll another uh, roll an active perception check because they've moved away and passive perception only gives you all my not 20 baby not 20 (laughs) yeah somebody over on the other side of the arena steps on a twig (laughs) (laughs) So you, the th- over here are three hags. Mm. One has hair that's just streaked with blood and it sort of drips down. She's got a- enormous, immense muscles. One of them is twisted and leering at everything. And the last one looks more like your hag classic, you know, uh, Wicked Witch of the West. She's plucking mushrooms, and they're all collaborating on a stew of some kind over here in a cauldron. And that seems to be the center of these phase attentions. Okay, so maybe I should have scouted more before starting this kind of... That is literally the moral of the entire campaign. But, uh, but there we go. I suppose, yep, the cauldron would have been a good place to start. Mm-hmm. Um, Okay, so while I mean, while they're on the exact opposite side, after mm-hmm. like a minute, yeah, I'm gonna go over and I'm gonna talk to these uh, very well armored, uh, well weaponed. What do you call them? Well armed is the word mm-hmm. that I was looking for, actually. Uh, people at the top left. Yep. There's a group of four of them. Two of them are wearing studded leather armor and they're wielding spiked chains. One of them has a long spear and uh, some sort of small animal's skull dangling from a chain on, as an earring. Mm. And the last one is covered in knives. Mm. In what guise are you approaching them? Uh, I'm approaching them in the same costume as mm-hmm. what I was wearing when I went to approach these cloaked figures. So just mm-hmm. like a, a dark cloak, but I'll cast my uh, hood back for, to approach these people. Um, yeah, just kind of looking raggedy and shifty, but not too shifty. Okay. As you draw close to them, every footstep feels heavy. It's like this incredible weight bears down on you, and you immediately feel unwelcome. Uh, mm. j- just when you draw, but it, it, it doesn't have any major adverse effects on you. Go ahead and move yourself. Okay. All right. And what's your pitch What is your purple, here? by the way? What purple? Oh. The, the purple, is that just treetops? You know the purple splodges around the map? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are spooky those, trees. Right? Those are spooky trees. Oh, okay. Well, okay. then, yeah, I'll walk underneath the trees, just okay. directly towards them. Mm-hmm. All right. And what's your approach? This kitten is gnawing on my ankles. Um, <laughs> my my Aww. approach because i've already seen them at the markets and i know that people at the markets tend to trade in lives and names and now mm-hmm. that i if i win this bet i have a hundred names to my to myself i'm gonna say to them uh 
uh, are you in the interest of buying and trading names? You have their attention. Mm. Yeah. Did you see the party over there, the cloaked people that have suddenly disappeared? They're not speaking, right? Yeah, a They're nod. Nodding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> what should I do here? Um, what indeed? <laughs> um, <laughs> okay. Um, uh, 25 names for you uh to be to be spread between you if well how many of them are there there's four of four them. Mm -hmm. okay well i'm gonna say um uh five names each if you're able to uh apprehend them uh in their current duties names of what <laughs> <laughs> Uh, powerful individuals. Roll a deception check. 26. Holy shit. He has plus 13, to be fair. <laughs> he can basically make anyone believe anything he says. Just says, uh, powerful individuals. He just has to not crit fail. <laughs> <laughs> Really, like you really want these names? The, these names, greatest names you've ever seen in your fucking life. Huge, <laughs> big names, long names, short names. I've got them all. Five each. I only have the best name. That, that sounds like a <laughs> that sounds like a, a discount rug warehouse. <laughs> Get your names. Come on down to Crazy Allen's Name Orama. Right. Okay, they're crazy. You have AXAE twelve you. musk. <laughs> you apprehend uh um to apprehend within one minute deal to reach out a hand to shake i i shake their hand all right and they step backwards into the shadows of the trees and actually melt down into the shadows themselves and vanish. <laughs> Fucking, I am dealing with shit that's way beyond my pay grade. <laughs> um, As uh, Joe said last game about Thoras, your mouth writing checks that you can't cash. <laughs> uh, I love that song. <laughs> anything else? Or rather, what next? What that, next? Okay, yeah. so I've cleared out this whole top left area. Mm -hmm. um, I can see these little things nearby me. What are these other little, little people, little folks? Oh, one sec. I'm being climbed. <laughs> All right, as you turn to look at them, they move past you. I'm going to take one move action here. Oh. Uh. You barely even see them. They just right past you. And mm. as they go, you feel this sudden brush of wind, and you've been pilfered for 20 gold. Oh, bloody bastards. <laughs> um, they just oh, moved outrageously my fast. Warehouse. Right, well, I ain't looking at those things anymore. I'm keeping my <laughs> eyes on the trees. Um, I'm going to go and... Uh, I, I'm going to try and get down towards uh, this kind of area so that mm -hmm. I've got a good line of sight towards what's going on over there kind of bit i'm trying to get an angle between the lady rowan and her guards and the mosh pit 
mm -hmm. uh, to be able to get a good idea of what's happening. I don't want to be skulking around behind the Lady Rowan because she mm -hmm. fragged the shit out of my rhinoceros, and I'm kind of scared. <laughs> but if well, I, I can stay in my rhinoceros, like you, it was your spirit guardian and not just some <laughs> poor creature that got summoned. Because he has to believe reality. it to be so convincing, mm -hmm. you know? Exactly. Yeah, if you true. tell yourself a lie enough times, you believe it. True. Checks out. Uh, all right, let's give, because I think, you know, you've got two minutes for this. Let's just check in with everybody else real fast. Uh, Aaron, you've just been, Aaron and Thoras, actually, the yep. two of you, although Thoras did just sort of walk back over to the spread. Uh, you've just been saved from near certain stompy death. What are you going to do next? Could I tell it was Thoras that saved me? Roll perception. It was a bit of a blur. Yes, yes, you can. You are aware that it's Thoras. He's gone over to uh, a, a table kind of closer up. I haven't added, actually added it to the map, but he was he was hanging out in this area. And uh, you're actually, you can see him from where you are, Alan, but you're disguised, okay. so you're in the clear. He went up over here, and I'm not going to add it to the map, but just say there's another spread of uh, food over here, the big crunchy insects. Thoras, what the fuck was that? Ah. What was that? Your arms aren't that long, you big bastard. Oh, let me show you. I'm going to project an eagle out of my arm. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought... Does just it only a, come out of your Just arm? an eagle that just never ends. Just constantly. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Can you do that from anywhere or just your arm? I think I can do it from anywhere. Can you make it... Can you turn into Lash's bald head? <laughs> Maybe. Oh. I'm going to try... I'm not bald anymore. It. Yeah, I know, but you were. I'm going to try and pro protract a, a, a limb and he that looks like Lash's bald head. Trace that that. This was a mistake. Um, <laughs> oh, my. Okay, yeah. <laughs> you know, okay, you, that's my bald head. You know yep.mov from TF2? Mm, yeah. That. Okay. Right. Aaron just reaches out and at the top of the head for good luck but the thoracic, you could you could create incredible weapons with this ability you don't even need this you don't need these acts anymore you could make whatever you want it'll be like that anime parasite if you guys have seen it no, no, great. No. thoracic needs axe oh okay i mean you could give yourself a bigger hand a whole bigger axe it only Can lasts you protrude for these limbs limitlessly once a round <laughs> i'm just and technically only when he's in a rage but you know yeah. for for, for, for more reasons. <laughs> for, for, <laughs> yes, as long as it isn't too game breaking. Yeah. I'm not gonna start Spider Man in right. between trees. Everyone's just fascinated <laughs> by this by this whole thing right now. I think he's just very taken by it. You got detachable. Does Lysha see her own bald head on I the other side? Flat of the Lysha's room. bald head. Full <laughs> perception, Lysha. While you're trying to dance, you see your bald head getting slapped across the room. <laughs> yes, what he said. Yes. <laughs> You see your bald head stretch out of his arm and then retract. Lasha, how can anything this funny be evil? I mean, I'm very far from you. <laughs> you just shout at it across. I'm the... like, I'm like Bongo Cat on her bald head. <laughs> 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 Meanwhile, Lasha has ripped off all her clothes except for her robe of stars. So mm -hmm. she's naked plus wearing just the robe of stars right now. Staring across the room like, that was my head. <laughs> what? And then she's like feeling her head like it is we're in Faye, it's still here. I mean, this isn't um, too much different than what would have happened if you failed your con save against the mushrooms, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm tripping balls. Um and she'd kind of be walking across like a circle of mushrooms and dryads forgotten. She's walking towards where she saw her bald head. Okay. <laughs> It's like a shining beacon of hope. Go ahead and start like, moving yourself hell? up that way. Uh, For God's so sake, Lysha, put some clothes on. I wasn't. We're not ready for Skyclad Hour yet. We're trying to deal with this ridiculous <laughs> party. Turning to you, she'd say, looking down at her chest, "Did you just tell me to put clothes on?" Aaron is extremely uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron just daddy, blushes. Daddy, yeah, he's he's all talk. Yeah, when he's done, <laughs> situation, he has no idea what to do. He's going to find something else to very studiously look at. Uh, uh, um, you, you look over and there's just this drunk burlap-wearing dwarf leaning up against there, sort of like picking at his teeth. Interesting thing in the world. Yep. 
Uh, Thoras wanted to uh, go over to these big boys. What do they look like? Do they look like uh, giants? No, they look like uh, elves who have been just pounding the creatine unbelievably. Oh, just they, jacked elves? Yeah, they're just, they're hulking brutes. They tower over their fellows. They wield massive weapons. Patches of their body are covered in this inky blackness that sort of rolls over them. It doesn't look like it flows over their flesh. It looks like their flesh just changes color to this dark ink and it moves around. I, right, well, I, go ahead. So I'm just going to waddle up to them mm -hmm. and he's going to use his extra limb to produce an oak tree out of his chest to push okay. him up to eye level. So he's going to just kind of be like... <laughs> Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Just kind of coming up slowly. So, uh... Just gonna get my chair right. How long you, uh... Been working out for? Our service is unending. Okay, General Grievous. Uh... <laughs> Uh, an ending? Our loyalty transcends death. Hog. Ha okay. How many are? Uh, how many of the of you are there? At least two. <laughs> and you got a a workout program? We are changed by the will of our queen. Huh. So, steroids or? Creatine <laughs> <laughs> or? The sap that grows from the darkest patches of the other world in the most grim groves courses through our very veins. So it's basically yeah. like creatine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's so that's so evil it's so Solid. weird where Big where class. where is that just so Picking i can avoid it like <laughs> where where would that even be just like so i could stay clear it's so i, I don't yeah it's so strange Goliath, you are not worthy but if you are interested in signing up i have a friend code that you can apply for with the queen. <laughs> <laughs> I get a referral okay. bonus, it will work very well for both of us. Thoras knows when he's not getting anywhere. He's just going <laughs> to slowly <laughs> retract the oak tree back into his chest and sit down. Thoras knows a pyramid scheme when he sees it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> mm, bloody... Thoras is just going to mutter to himself, like, don't give me sack, man. I'm not worthy. <laughs> Bloody multi-level marketing. The <laughs> bloody reverse Pyramid funnel schemes. systems. <laughs> now, if you are interested, you could speak with the Lady Rowan. You have permission to approach the throne. She's a little bit weird. A little uh, bit. <laughs> I don't know if that's wise. Like, she could pass as a Goliath. She's tall enough. Uh, I... Okay, Thoras is going to approach the, the lady, Rowan. All right. Uh, my lady! Bold Thoras. Thoras still has some hair. <laughs> Please do not hurt Thoras' feelings. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, Thoras just had interesting conversation with your... I'll look over at them. Attendants? Guards. guards? Guards. We'll go with guards. Mm. Uh, very strong they are. Yes. Mm. Could be that, that strength may be shared? It could be, Thoras. Mm. If you go to my sister's wedding as I invited you, and do well there as my champion, then that strength can be yours. Thoras <laughs> will think on this. 
and he's going to whip out his horn and play a little tune. All right. As he and jumps back. What kind of tune does Thoras play, I wonder? It's <laughs> <laughs> a shrill horn. Nice. And, and uh, don't forget, Thoras, we have much work to do before the wedding. You and I had a deal in exchange for your hospitality. Oh, and yes. I have another errand that only a warrior of great strength could complete. Thoras if any of your friends always. still need gifts, well, go ahead. Gifts? So, uh, 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 do not worry, Lady Ron. Thoras was just going to say something silly. Well, you know, I delight in your wit. <laughs> if any of your friends still need gifts for the wedding, there is a second errand that I could use your help on. Ooh. You're too kind. You need only kind. come speak with me when they are ready. Hmm. I really wanted to see my people. So ask Will. <laughs> that's the arc I wrote, Ash. That is that's the original story I wrote, but you know, we're here now. Go ahead, Thoras. Yeah, this is the arc that's full of fuck. So I don't worry about it. Thoras will keep his honor and will enact our deal. I have no doubt. With flexing and muscles and the dragon I will choke hold. I will, <laughs> I will kill it. Excellent. With my axe. I'm very uh, bloody. Bring back its head. You can keep it afterwards. It wouldn't be wouldn't be the Goliath way if uh yep. And I'm just gonna go away. Excellent. All right. <laughs> yes. Um has, has so anyone how to talk to royalty? Goliath don't really have royalty, you know. They yeah. they, they have a, a hierarchy, but it's not quite it's the same. It's kind of like uh, he's observed from the sidelines how people would talk to. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, he, he doesn't. He doesn't understand the culture. You know, he doesn't. He just doesn't get it. And yet, you're doing a better job interacting than Alan is. Uh, so, <laughs> have we? Has everyone had the chance to do something before? You know, the the sh excrement gonna, strikes the overhead I'm, oscillator. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna grab my spiced mango slices to enjoy this. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I want to take my contacts out real fast. My eyes are really hurting. Go sorry, ahead. Uh, Alan's found. Uh, sorry, Aaron's found a leaf that just seems to fascinate him greatly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it go! Uh, there's another one there as well. Wow, that's so purple and <laughs> gloomy looking leaf. Huh. Um, I don't suppose there's pots of boiling water around. You know, like tea being served anywhere. There is tea. It's got the most just fantastic, strange aroma. Mm. It's being served it, piping hot. Oh, it's still piping hot. Mm -hmm. uh, what is it being served in? Some smaller, just cups? No, it's, it's like a bowl. Like sort of a bowl one could... I mean, I suppose you could sip from it. How heavy would you say the bowl is? A uh, pound. Oh, Two pounds. Very reasonable. You know, uh, light enough to be carried by Mage Hand. Um, yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another, another quick question for you, just, uh, just for a friend. Um, Mage Hand, it can't activate magical items, but could it wiggle a wand of uh, wiggling? <laughs> a wand of wonder. I never want to hear that sentence come out of anyone's mouth of ever wiggling. again. <laughs> mm. it... Wiggle a wand of wiggling. Yeah, could it wiggle a wand of wonder? Uh, you want to see if it can give your wand of wonder the stranger? Yeah, sure. Why not? Um, nice. Any other questions from a friend? No, friends kind of satisfied with the questions. Okay. Um, I I am gonna grab one of those pots of tea though. Mm -hmm. Um, and I am going to drop one of my modane flowers into it. Interesting. Mm. Roll um Roll an Arcana check. Mm. Well he does that. Um uh, what's the Mordain flowers again? Mordain flowers what? make a tea that is incredibly toxic and will kill you, but if you inhale the fumes, it transcends your mind into the the fifth kingdom, the realm of dreams. Gotcha. It's also addictive, and if you dose twice in like 24 hours, you get incredibly poisonous. So, you just dropped a Mordain flower into a bowl of Mordain tea. 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I yeah. didn't realize. Yeah. Oh, it's, that's hilarious. Yeah, that's why it's in this weird bowl. It's not for drinking. It's for, you know, uh, inhaling. Yeah. yeah. So it, it's strong now. Mm. It is It is strong. Wait, some more Dane tea? Yeah. Where? Alan has All it. over the place, man. All over the place. I've got some... <laughs> I didn't realize that that's what it was, but I guess yeah. you, you look over and you see another one of those like burlap wearing dwarves. He's lying face down on the ground and he's one of the bowls is like fallen from his hand. He's not mm. moving at all. Okay. Paul. All right. Well, having realized that I'm going to uh, set it down gently beside me, this extra dose of Mordain tea. I don't want it to get too mm -hmm. close to me. Mm -hmm. I'm not looking to take a trip to Dream right now. That ain't on the cards. No, that will further derail us. Um, and for the moment, mm -hmm. for the next kind of whatever 40 seconds they have left to cause the chaos, I'm happy to do just kind of chill and simply ex simply give the the Wand of Wonder, which, how, how small is this Wand of Wonder? Six inches. Six inches, okay. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap it in the mage hand as much as I can. Try and mm -hmm. obscure as much of the wand of wonder inside, kind of the gripped of this palm glowing of the mage blue hand. hand. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna send the glowy blue hand into uh, into a tree, thirty paces away from me. Okay. Uh, or thirty feet away. So you see this like nice. Nice golden tree, so that mm -hmm. it's obscured inside of the leaves. Um, and I am gonna just sit on the floor, just the absolute picture of innocence. Okay. And observe. So. Can I talk to a tree? Yeah, you can talk to a tree. I came over. My head wasn't there anymore, and I. Figured I would. Oh well, sugar. It's not. It's kind of where they Thoras was around this area. Is that right? Where mm -hmm. the thing protruded from him? Yeah, he was. He was so swapping this, uh, workout tips. I'm gonna. I'm gonna speak to trees and mushrooms because they're both right there. Mm -hmm. Get ready for mushroom speak. <laughs> um, I'll cast speak with plants. And hope that it works in this realm, because maybe it will and maybe it won't. Maybe these plants don't talk like regular plants do. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, and I'll speak to them in Elvish, because I don't speak Sylvan, but I don't want to insult fey plants either. Okay. Mm -hmm. The um, trees speak in a low rasp, like wind running through their leaves. Pretty good. And I would ask them... Have any mortals that have come here ever left again? Their blood has slaked our roots. It has been a long time since mortals dwelt here. And a mushroom pipes up. I'm growing in one right now. Oh. He's down there. I believe you. So, no, they've never left? Not the last batch. This one's delicious. What, um... What made them stay? The queen's will. Or her hounds. Hounds, Or the is. sluach. I'm sorry, repeat that last one? The sluach! Would I know what that is? Yes. Yes. Selah. Selah. Yeah. Ah. yeah, that that proper pronunciation. Uh, ah. They are restless fae spirits individually. They don't really do much harm, but they've been known to swarm and tear people apart. Right. But if there were any of these mortals here as queens invited, yes? Not since the war. The war with the Holdra, she says, kind of covering her ears point yes. a little bit. <laughs> I see. I see. Remind me. 
Did they get to leave? <laughs> there was one. Who? He had a cape of moss and was clad in silver armor. And his sword, his sword, why do you always say it that way, you old daft fool? His sword <laughs> shone like the moon. He defied the queen and her sister. Would I know who they're talking about? Yes. That would be the king, right? That would be, well, the king was abducted by Neve of oh, the Golden Hair. Right, right, okay. Right. But there was a Holger warrior, Gesirgis, who Gisirgis. found rescued the king and made peace between the Holger queens. He uncovered the plot, the war and the strife between the two sisters, ventured into the other world and rescued the king to end the war. There's well, a whole order of- the crossbow. Uh, oh. That's what we did. You know, yes. Just to put in perspective for you, like that level of heroism. <laughs> yeah. No, we're not nearly that heroic. And he sounds like his outfit was way more badass too. There's a whole uh, paladin. There's a whole paladin order of Holdra dedicated in his memory, and it's their job to basically play bodyguard to the queens. So he's the only one who left, eh? Yes. Hmm. Hmm. Do we know how he left? Was there a portal, or did the queens help him leave? He made her let him leave. I see. I see. Well, thank you. You've been most helpful. Please don't eat me. I mean, I don't oh. eat people when they're still alive. You're probably fine for a little while, you know. A yeah. little. But, you know, hopefully not too long. You know, where I'm from, we eat mushrooms. <laughs> Bring it on, little lady. <laughs> <laughs> Take a big fucking bite, you're not looking like what comes next. Oh my god. I don't think I will. I don't think I will. My She's mom was gonna... spit and my dad was vinegar. Let's go. This is psilocybin like I've never seen. Um... <laughs> Okay, I think she's gotten about as much information as she can. Um, actually, you know, do would 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 you know if if what, what, say what, someone what, was what, able to call what, upon what, the wrath what, of nature, would that would that work here? Would you answer? Yeah, I do wrath. <laughs> okay, cool. Just checking. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Aaron. Aaron. Draw a card. Ooh, oh, we okay. hit another act of God. We, we hit another act of God. Uh, wonderful. See what you got. Oh, God. <laughs> that is the correct response. Wait, what? <laughs> Glorious death. Your life okay. is in your hands, but it is not yours to keep. Hmm. So, okay. Aaron, there is, like, a as you distract yourself at all costs, looking away, looking at fascinating leaves and such. They really are fascinating, though. You should see mm. them. They don't look anything like they do on the surface. You <laughs> feel for a moment the sun. You can't see it. You don't feel like it's, it exists here. You don't feel like it's light would ever touch these lands and you don't see it's light anywhere else. But you do feel that light on, like, on your neck, on your skin, etc. cetera. Yep. And you have a moment of clarity of the sacrifices that you've made along the way, even all, all the, the, the gods and infernals and you, you don't have control over your lineage. You don't have control over who your father is. You've been thrust along one misadventure after another most of your life. Sort of trying to take charge in the fighting pits. But always, even then, you had Omglef watching over you, tilting the odds, changing things in your favor. But this quest, the dragon, the war, 
all of it, so many lives are on the line. So many. The one thing you do have control over is your own life. And if you choose to set it aside at the right moment, the shit will hit the fan. It, you, you feel... What's the word I'm looking for? Agency. The one, again, the one thing you have control over is your own life and death. And that thought rests within your heart like an ember. Mm. But it also fills you with this strange adrenaline, this anxiety, this energy. Let me know if you choose to call upon it. Go ahead and take that back into your hand. Alrighty. I don't know how to do that. How do I do uh, that right again? click and take card. Oh, interesting. Yeah. I'll ruminate upon that. Yeah. Uh, let me know if you want to use it. All right. And uh, until the next sunrise, that's going to remain within you. Okay. Is there sun here? No. There will be! Don't worry! <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to just stay with him until we're in the mortal world then? Yes. Actually, yes. Oh, that's a nice... Thank you, uh, Elisha, for uh, determining that little... Um, <laughs> I, I had thought of that. Me. I just didn't say it. It's not his fault. He, he can choose to call upon that fire and call upon his own life if he needs to. Uh, or if he gets felled in the line of duty... Either way, the, it, it's meant to be vague. It's meant to not be fully understood, but if it goes down, you will understand. Uh, all right, last last call before the shit hits the fan and we start rolling on, on Wand of Wonder tables and all that shit. Anything? Anyone? <laughs> Aaron has no idea what I'm going to do. I got to want to crack open the wine. <laughs> do you, do you want to crack? There's wine, there's ale, there's spirits. I, I meant in real life. Oh, you pr yeah, I mean, that's fair. <laughs> Because... Is considering stealing the burlap sack from the passed out dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could draw like the robe. You can c cover yourself with the robe. Yeah, she could just draw the robe close, but mm -hmm. she's also not super. She's a whole drudge. They... Your human concepts of morality and mm -hmm. being dressed don't apply. Yep. She's fine. Moving on. You've transcended these things. Okay. Well, you know. So, meanwhile. The Darkling Fae creep around the edges of the three hags busily at work on their cauldron. And one of them pulls out, reaches into the tree and pulls out a small squeaking creature, a fairy of some kind. Lance's mouth shut. The other two each bring up vials of inky darkness and one of them brings up a chalky stone that squeaks and screams very faintly and they all gather around the cauldron ready to make their move and in the shadows behind them even stealthier the Shadar Kai rise up again just emerging from the shadows with their chains and their spells at the ready uh Alan do you do anything before that goes down or are you waiting for that to go down so this is the bargain yeah. that Alan made, right? He told them to... Yeah. He said, I hey, to... I, I bet you I can cause more chaos. And then he said, hey, I'll give you my winnings if you, you know, apprehend them. Yeah, no, I'm just waiting for the, uh, for the shit storm that I've created to set off. Okay. Hold on, but this isn't the chaos you're creating, though, right? No, but at the end of the two minutes, whatever chaos continues begins my two minutes. Oh, so you have to make it chaotic. In, so, in, so I, I am, I, I've set myself up, I believe, to win here because I'm building off whatever. Unless they manage to create some chaos that ends within two minutes, I, I have, I, I am okay. building upon theirs. I like it. All right, potion miscability. The the darklings wait until the hags have their <laughs> eyes, their uh, their backs turned, and then they sneak up with these strange unearthly ingredients to add them to the cauldron. But at that exact moment, 
The Shadar Kai burst from the shadows behind them, grabbing them and dragging them back with their spiked chains, clamping over their mouths. Spells descend upon them, and suddenly the Darklings crumble to the ground as if crushed by a great weight. And without the hags even noticing, they're dragged back into the undergrowth. Jesus Christ, that was kind of brutal. You hired the you hired the best. The Shadow Kai are the assassins of the Fey world. Fucking hell! I mean, I just realized like, how you're gonna collect those you, names from them if they've been anyway. They haven't been said, killed though. They've apprehend. just been detained, apprehended. Yeah. No, the, the, there's a reason the Shadow Kai trade in lives. It's because they are the very best at what they do, and they've prevented the Darklings from actually causing any chaos. Any chaos. Mm -hmm. The chaos, in fact, is is. Yeah, it's just completely... It's even less chaos than there was before. Mm -hmm. Negative chaos. I am going to make my... I, I, I'm... Hmm. Having seen that go far better than I expected, I mean, I expected some level of chaos. My thoughts are now not so much about winning the bet, but more about collecting on it. Because I want to make sure that these these uh, these people are not going to be um, trying to wiggle out of it in some way. Because then I would be in debt to the uh, Shadokai. Mm -hmm. And that would, be a, that would be a very bad place to be. So, um, I am going to pause for a moment, say 20 seconds, to see if I can see any sign of... Uh, of them being brought back to their original place. Because I would think that when you apprehend someone, you normally bring them back to the person that asked them to appreh apprehend you. Or wait, I structured that sentence badly, but you know what I mean. I, I know what you mean. Uh, you don't see any sign of them at all. They've been dragged back into the underbrush and they're gone as if they never existed. Mildly concerned at this point, <laughs> but I'm going to assume that, I mean, at some point, these Shadokai have to pop back out just in order to, you know, ask me for the names. So mm -hmm. at that point, I should be able to make good on my debt. I'm not, I'm not too bothered about that. I can talk myself out of a tough spot. Um, I am now just going to cause the necessary amounts of chaos. Okay. So because there's enough debauchery happening in the middle of the mosh pit anyway, mm -hmm. and I've seen that uh, Aaron was kicked out of it, so I know that none of my friends are really within the 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 the, the blast radius. I'm gonna indicate my mage hand to start wiggling away from that tree in uh, pointing towards the mosh pit, just wiggling okay. at the at the indiscriminately wiggling at the mosh pit. Indiscriminate wiggling, I, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say I'm gonna wiggle until I see some major effect. Wiggle, 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 I don't, wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> I don't really know what's happening mm -hmm. until I can perceive it. So I'm going to wiggle until I see chaos. And mm -hmm. at that point, I'll kind of draw back. All right, really quickly. We bitch about acts of God happening randomly. <laughs> and this is, this is happening all the time now. We can't complain about crazy acts of God. <laughs> but I, this isn't... I, I feel like this... You, you, Alan you've given is a, an act of God. <laughs> you've given a power-hungry dude... A one that he's now figured out that he wiggles and rhinoceroses appear. <laughs> like this is some he's gonna use that to the max. How do we get it off him, geez? <laughs> Roll one D hundred. Here we go. Mm. Act of God Blaster, that's great, Drew. That's exactly what it is. Seventy six. One to one to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you ordered some chaos, you fucking got it. <laughs> nice. First roll. A fireball goes off in the middle of the mosh pit. <laughs> I'm glad I got out by Brent's noodly appendage. My what God. did you expect? What were you What were you expecting to happen? Like a rhinoceros 
or everyone ha- suddenly decides to uh, <laughs> dance a jig or detachable ears. Yeah, detachable ears. I don't fucking know. Not fireball. I'm not trying to frag everybody. You know, what I'm really <laughs> looking forward to looking at every single spell block, uh, every single stat block in the mosh pit to figure out if anyone has fire resistance or spell resistance and rolling <laughs> oh, about oh 70 different dexterity saving throws. That's going to be <laughs> just phenomenal. I'm really oh looking forward God. to doing all of that. <laughs> Josh. You pissed uh, off the DM. What have you done? Uh, <laughs> We're all dead. Okay, let me just yeah. size this fucking thing, and then, you know, you said the, the middle is, of the though, mosh pit, right? Yeah, the middle of the mosh pit. The thing is, though, a fireball isn't really chaos. It's just destruction. It could so- <laughs> Oh, no! Oh, oh, my God. That is not a I, I don't fireball. know, man. If somebody dropped an artillery shell on my rave, I would call that <laughs> chaos. My leg hair is You're... getting seen. <laughs> this is going to cover one of the guests of honor. Yes. Wait, who's the guest of honor? Oh my god, the the, the lady is talking. The lady her. no one is talking to her. Well, fuck me. It's a good job I'm quietly meditating in a corner. <laughs> well, roll 8d6. I'm talking to a tree. <laughs> Look at a leaf. Can't have anything to do with me. Thoris is glad he retracted. 24. The oak tree. It's not 24. very much damage. Yeah, well, you know, it only takes so much to kill a fucking goblin. <laughs> he just got he just got obliterated. Uh, let's see if the, the goblin boss survives. Checking for casualties. <sighs> oh Christ, why did it have to be a fireball? Well, I think that's quite a good outcome, isn't it? No, you, it's a really you bad know, outcome. What? You I just mean, if attacked I, these. I mean, yeah. that, but what? It could be much worse based on what we've seen. I, from the I was, so far. I was trying to create chaos, but not kill things. Like, I'm not trying to make the lady Rowan mad at me. I'm just trying to create, you know, madness. <laughs> well, you've accomplished at least one of those two things. Uh-huh. Oh, well, that which, guy's which dead. Which one? Yes. Put on some easy listening right, music. Meanwhile, is like the fire followed me. <laughs> this is actually the first result we ever got on this wand because this is what uh, Baby mm. Tiberius you you activate a fireball and he belts shit back out at you. Like that's the the first thing that came out of this thing. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So non oh, at Into least a the baby's little, throat, mind you, because you the were... little boggles. <laughs> at least their fire isn't their uh their oil isn't flammable, but they're dead. Oh shit, oh, that's my. right. There was oil everywhere. God. Somebody said open up this pit, you know? I have just caused carnage. I, I really did not mean to do this. But unfortunately, I have to double down because a random fireball going off seems like an act of terrorism. But many, many different things happening seems like, you know, wild, wild shit out of anyone's control. So I would be. I would be forced at this point to continue wiggling the wand. Uh, How perceptive do we think the Lady Rowan is? Like, you know, she can probably figure out where this is coming from. If you want to tell yourself that, Josh, if that is the logic you want to go with, then, you know, I that salute you. That doesn't make you. any sense to me. I, I yeah. think that makes a lot of sense, because if, if, if there's just one fireball that goes off, that is, a, that is a destructive act that must be investigated, and there are murders to account for. If suddenly rhinoceroses pop up all over the place and other weird shit begins, it's much easier to explain it away as just weird shit started happening. Here's my favorite comment from chat right now. Sideshow plays D&D like he plays Overwatch. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. Yeah, that's mm, that's pretty true. Yeah, I'd, I'd say that's true. Yeah, that, that's pretty true. I'm just working with the tools I've been given. <laughs> that I was, was just trying mistake. to create... A distraction. This mm-hmm. entire thing was just supposed to be a Good distraction. News. But because it was so horrific, I have to double down. Okay, well, I'm done with the fireball. So there's an eruption of flame, the smell of charred meats, the ground is just scorched. Every single gobl- goblin is incinerated. The little boggles just <laughs> they swell up with the heat and then pop oil non-flammable oil just in these little fountains as they pop like popcorn the red caps scream as they get completely roasted uh 
the two weird bug satyrs just scamper out of the pit immediately. The sh shadow elf in all of her finery recoils from the flames. As, co again, congratulations, there is chaos. Eren doesn't know if this is supposed to be part of it all, though. Yeah, like, a fireball he, just went off. Just Eren went doesn't a, even know about Alan's deal. This, he just went and walked into this mosh pit and almost got lacerated. <laughs> and then so dragged now, out by an, a, a tentacle. Like, I, I don't think he's that shocked about this. So now Alan is going to try and distract from the fireball by wiggling the, the wand, but not aimed at any people. So there's a big empty spot around here. Hmm? on the right hand side and he's going to go for that spot he's First, just going to try and wiggle it over there everybody is entitled to an action because technically that would have taken a round sure okay yeah i'm going to i think i would have just moved away from this fire mm -hmm. you know I don't think yeah be... where's korak by the way where's where is he oh he's, he's chowing like down at the buffet over here I down at the bottom yeah. i don't know it's a uh... Back that wasn't very poggers. Korak and Olika are clad, so he's fine. Okay. So speak with plants lasts for 10 minutes, so she'd mm -hmm. run behind the tree and probably ask the tree, like, is that normal? Was that supposed to happen? What? No! Fire bad! Fire <laughs> bad! Is fire count as natural light for the purposes of those uh, people that are... <laughs> yes, uh, but they, they've been normal? dragged into the shadows over on oh, the other true. side of the clearing. Is the fire still burning after the fireball, or it's just out and smoking it, now? Or? There's, like, little bits of it here and there, but it's not like it persists. It's a boom, a one one blossom of fire, and then it's out. Oh, okay. Lord. The Lady Rowan stands up from her throne. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Behind. So that there's a and watches her honored guest melts away into the shadows and appears well, sort of out of sight. The cat person who is also at the foot and was in covert discussion uh, is moving the hell away. I'm seeing if they have any sort of teleportation ability. Do... Uh, yes, they do. And they are going to use that to literally teleport the fuck out of Dodge. Bam! Just gone in a puff of smoke. Miles away. Out. The guards close ranks. The massive hound growls as it curls protectively around the queen. Uh, Lysha, what did you do? You, you asked the tree. Aaron, I, I, go ahead. I hid behind the tree and asked the tree, yeah. Okay. There's something glowing right there, though. Uh, Thoras, what do you do? The fireball was fairly close to you. I see everybody cowering. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm like, oh, God, we're under attack. I get out my axe, and I'm going to stand next to the big swole man who told okay. me where to get the sap steroids. Or told okay. me about the sap steroids and actually tell me where to get them. Oh, he did tell me where to get them, actually. I mean, he described a location and he described a process, but he didn't, did not identify a location. Do I... Should I put it out? Tree? We're bad! <laughs> okay, at which point I guess Lysha would step forward, which I'm trying to do. If it's still... Uh, she hasn't really done an action yet, I guess, mm -hmm. this round. Correct. And uh, meaning to be peaceable. and Trying to make it known that she's as peaceable as possible. I'm, I'm trying to stand in front of the tree. I can't seem to move myself. I'm in front of the tree. Okay. Um, And kind of like showing what she's doing, but like making sure very carefully not to hit anyone. Mm -hmm. Because I don't have create water anymore, but I do still have tidal wave. Uh, 30 feet long 10 feet wide so it's only 10 feet wide but she'd look for the area that's like the most on fire there mm -hmm. and try to put it out 
All right. So you are you catching any creatures in the area of effect? Trying not to. All right, Trying that's fine. To. A huge wall of water just appears and rushes outwards across the fey glade, sizzling as it strikes the uh, the little embers and cinders lying around. A couple of creatures nearby are washed further away, but take no damage. Hey, we have. Hey, th sorry, the tree said to put it out. <laughs> okay. Uh, Alan, you said that the hand was in this tree here, right? Yeah. Okay. And what is what are you aiming it at? Well, I'm 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 not having seen everybody's reaction. I've altered mm -hmm. my plan slightly. Okay. So I'm going to move over towards the lady Rowan. Mm -hmm. uh, let me. I'm still maintaining thirty foot radius from my from my hand so that it doesn't disappear. Mm -hmm. But I'm going over towards Thoras, mm -hmm. and I'm going to pull out my bow, and looking away from the lady Rowan, I'm going to start aiming my bow towards the towards the ground, kind of knocking an arrow. You know, I'm not aiming it at anybody, but I'm just getting ready to fight. Very much making mm -hmm. it making it look like I'm ready to defend the lady Rowan. <laughs> Roll deception. <laughs> 23. <laughs> Fucking hell. Outrageous. He doesn't miss. He doesn't miss, man. Outrageous. Got plus 13. That shit is fire, dude. Seriously, like, he has to roll a nat one fail. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, and at that point, I am still going to wiggle the wand because I don't want it to be just suspicious that as soon as mm. I came over, everything stopped. I'm going to again wiggle the, the indicate my mage hand to wiggle the wand from okay. the tree, but again, aimed at that like patch where nobody is on the right hand side. And I'm like, going to try and I'm scanning towards everybody else to make sure I'm reacting the same way that everybody else does by, you know, like <laughs> mm -hmm. jumping when something happens and pu pulling my bow and looking like I'm very much there I'm to defend the <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay. Uh, you need to pick a creature, an object, or a point in space. Okay, the point in space then is uh, going to be what I'm pointing at here, which is this cluster of trees mm -hmm. uh, 50 feet away from me. Okay, roll 1d100. 53. <laughs> Don't like that laugh. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? what do you mean? You grow. You're huge, I grow. Dude. You You're grow. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? I grow. It wasn't <laughs> aimed at me. It wasn't. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. The two hulking bodyguards turn to stare at you. The dog with the weird humanoid face turns to stare at you. <laughs> the... I'm gonna... Oh. Go on, go on. Go on. I'm gonna... I'm gonna s scream and drop my bow. Mm -hmm. and, and wiggle the wand again. Oh my god, dude. Um, this time... Yeah, at the same patch of, of trees. Since, again, that would take a round to do, the three of you, are you doing anything? No, I'm just trying to act very surprised. No, I am aware of what you are trying to do. What about the rest of the party? <laughs> uh, Lysha's um, not... How do you respond yeah, Sorry, go ahead. I, I... Let's do Thoras, Lysha, then Aaron. I'm jealous. <laughs> Of these easy gains. Oh, so yeah. you, so you He's found that you found the, you got the sap, huh? All like right, sun, well, rub it in dude. my face. It's just newbie gains, bro. Don't worry. You, you it's got, you pump. found this. Is the pump? Did she tell you? She told you where the sap is. No, no, no. I'm listen, just, it's just, just got to put the pre-workout, Thoris. Don't worry about it. Make sure, you, make sure your uh, veins all dilated. You know, the vasodilators and beta alanine, bro. Don't worry about it. It's just pump. It's all, it's all, it's all for the gram, dude. Don't worry about it. Anything Seeing else, Alan Thorax? get huge. Mm -hmm. Sorry, 
Anything else, Thoras, and then go ahead and react. No, nah, no, nah, that's, that's me done. He is a large sized creature. Go ahead. Lysha thinking what she does to Valen and putting nothing past him would probably see him get huge. She's standing pretty near him and just be like, Alan, what have you done? <laughs> That's that's probably mostly her reaction, and she'd kind of stare threateningly at him and kind of look over to the queen to see how the queen is reacting to all of this. Because she's a little on edge. She's just talked to trees that said mortals never leave this place, except that one time. Aaron? Uh, I turn to Olika. Have you ever seen anything like that? I've been hanging around with you a lot for a little while. I've seen quite a few strange things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fair. This, this no, doesn't really register yet, do you know what I mean? <laughs> you, you really think it's not that notable? Oi, Alan, what did you eat? I, I told you to watch out for them uh, cockroach cream puffs, bro. That shit'll, that shit'll really work, work you on the backside, you know? I didn't eat anything. I didn't eat anything. What the hell is happening? What today? have you done, Alan? I don't I believe you're do anything. <laughs> well, Alan, you're the tank now, just so you know. I'm going to stand back here. <laughs> Yeah, your your height doubled. Like you basically doubled in size, which by the cube law means that your weight increased eightfold as well. Um, so whatever your height is, you know, you're 12, 11, 12 feet tall. Uh, oh God. Do do you run it back? Third yep. time's the charm. Yep. Targeting a point in space. Yep. Jesus Christ. Roll it. Ah oh God. Three. Three. That's either drab or spectacular. A single digit number. Uh, let's see here. So, you know those little speedy bastards who pickpocketed you earlier? Yeah. Sun, like they move so fast, so fast you can barely see them. Suddenly, you see two of them moving through that glen. They just moving in slow motion. <laughs> They've got a that little chalky rock that one of the darklings is going to put in the brew. They've stolen it and they're running with it. No. <laughs> is everyone else moving in slow motion? No, only those folks in that immediate vicinity. A slow spell went off right there. I uh, probably would have hit these uh, these elves as well. Okay. Ah, that wasn't the distraction that I was looking for. Um, Nowhere near as flashy as a fireball or you giant growing giant, no. No. I wanted to summon a rhinoceros or something as equally harmless but entertaining. Imagine yet, thinking I'm... a rhinoceros is harmless. <laughs> I mean, the Lady Rowan made it look harmless. She liquefied it. She turned it into a soup. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wiggle it one more time, hoping for something excellent, and I'm gonna start retracting the mage hand to uh, down the trunk of the tree behind. Mm -hmm. I'm basically trying to make sure that the Lady Rowan never ever sees this this wand uh, okay. or, or rather the mage hand i'm gonna try and retract it down the back of the trunk of the tree and i'm gonna try and bury it into the ground at the foot of the tree okay. you know like the mage hand's gonna try and like dig it into the bottom fourth time roll 1d 100 <clears throat> 11 is there a 1 in 100 chance we will just die immediately no i mean this isn't as bad as the the ten thousand results wild magic table. Yeah, that's, that one was that's messed up. That Sun blowing campaigns. up thing that we almost actually hit. Up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Imagine how much more peaceful this campaign would have been if we blew up the sun. <laughs> short lived. <laughs> short, short lived. Okay. The the quicklings who are in slow motion, they start to spin around in a circle. 
drawn towards a central point, and the trees splinter and their leaves fall apart, dragged towards this central point. Stones and mushrooms fly towards it, all collapsing on themselves, and this tiny white-hot ball of mass appears as it starts devouring everything around it. You created a black hole. a hole in reality itself. You're stunned for one round. You believe something awesome has happened. Nobody else sees this. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> Oh shit. So you just stand there. Door I'm going to start head. freaking out then and because I'm looking for a distraction. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start pointing towards the trees and going, my, "Oh my, my god, look. Holy shit." So, and Josh is going from what like let's say 80 pounds to uh 640 pounds, mm -hmm. let's yeah. say. Mhm. Mm because you know he's Irish and he was like, so that is that is he, he is huge. He's heavier than Thorax yeah, by I'm, far. I'm absolutely monstrous. Um, absolute giga Chad. Uh, Aaron puffs out his chest and starts to walk forward. He's like, "Don't worry, Lady Rowan, as your knight protector, I shall protect you from." He looks around. Whatever it is that is befalling us upon this. Ill fated night, and I, I walk up to I walk up to Al and I start tugging on him. I'm like, "Hey, what are you doing, bro? Just, just step away from the day, as at least, bro. Just, just just give us some, give us some space, man. Look at those things that are gonna attack us, the, the shadow blades. But come on, man, just chill. Usually, I'm the aggressor. Just let go. Come on, let's just, let's just chill. Do not worry, Lady Rowan. I will have this under control. Post haste. Seriously, we're gonna fucking die. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna sink into the fetal position. <laughs> a giant have, in the I have fetal position. The giant man child with my uh, words of encouragement, which, uh, and I look around the room, which I'm glad to share with you all, should you require it. And uh, yes, I believe the threat to us is, is subsided. That'll be all. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Everyone is just in the whole party, is just staring at Alan. Well, this is not a meme. <laughs> I, 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 I'm going to start off camera, you know. I, I'm going to start crying crocodile tears and uh, and shout to the lady Rowan, foul magic! Your honor, foul magic, my lady. I have been cursed a fireball upon us and these poor speedy creatures <laughs> have been slowed and dragged to their eventual demise. She reaches out with her long, clawed hands into the air as if she's twisting or seizing something and then tugs. And you immediately start shrinking back to your correct size as the spell just snaps in her hands. I'm going to profusely thank her mm -hmm. and, and run as, as close as the guards will allow are... without them looking uh aggressive mm -hmm. and prostrate myself at her feet random question yes I did the, the, the did the making him giant spell affect everything he was wearing or did he become like a giant naked thing that <laughs> popped out of his clothing it covers uh <laughs> more than hulk rules apply uh ant-man rules apply it covers all your gear. okay okay yeah, yeah. all right alan odale you have supped at my table. Actually, did you eat anything? No, no not okay. quite true, my late. Not but quite she wouldn't, true. She wouldn't say that. She's able. She would know. She mm. she can tell. All right. <laughs> the uh, fucking hell. Why do I always have to figure out what's going on in these absolute crackpot scenarios? You're acting more than we are. Like, that's the point. <laughs> Okay, what would she do here? Uh, gather your friends, all is well. She makes a gesture and the, the weird, but bring them all before me. She makes a gesture and people just start heading back into the mosh pit. A little bit apprehensively, kicking aside the charred corpses along their way. Oh, people gather are resilient your, out here. Gather your friends, I would have words with them. Another day in the Unseelie Court. Oh no, not again. We in trouble. We in trouble. <laughs> I put the fire out. I defended the courts from this monstrosity. 
I talked well. to a tree. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to be large. <laughs> it's a burden that some of us have to bear. Oh, that's what um, you do. I ate. Yes, I he, he ate, as was I expected of him. I just gains and yeah, I have yes. Uh, I we have business to attend to. Clearly, the party isn't going very well. Just gather your friends. Let's come have some words. Uh, Alan, what do you do? Um, I, I go and I, I snivel mm -hmm. a little. Mm -hmm. I ask her whether she's sure that it is safe. I'm going to try and play the part of the victim in absolute terms you know like i am projecting the idea mm -hmm. that this was something that happened to me not mm -hmm. by me <laughs> as if i am the, the the victim of some fell magic she just responds with a chuckle <laughs> safe <laughs> I, I i wander off and i'm gonna summon the others towards towards as, us as you wander off out of the shadows one of the shadow kai simply melts Melts into existence? Yes, just right next to you, hiding. Mm. The deed is done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The deed. I, I'm gonna um I'm gonna cast minor illusion of like mm -hmm. a little whisper in his ear. Mm -hmm. Um as I as I continue to round up my colleagues and I say, uh when the lady Rowan is is finished with me. Uh, bring, uh, bring the the others to me, and I will make sure that your names are uh, are delivered. When she's finished with you. Uh, wh when we have concluded this short business. Ah. Very well. <laughs> Melts away. All right. What is everybody doing? I guess I'll put my axe away with my eagle arm. Mm-hmm. Your infinite eagle arm. <laughs> Laisha yeah! still believes that she's here, uh, basically as an emissary for her people to help maintain the peace mm -hmm. and mend relations. So she's gonna come when called and be real nice and kneel. Right, so Aaron's gonna take his his duty very seriously and help corral uh, his group of miscreants mm -hmm. uh, to pay uh, to pay witness to what the uh, Lady Rowan has to say. All right. Uh, Thoras, you've eaten. Yeah, but, but you made a <laughs> yeah. you made a deal. Yeah. You offered something in exchange for hospitality. Yep. Alan has not eaten anything. Lysha has not eaten anything, as far as I know. Nope. Aaron, she's just talked to mushrooms and trees and threatened to eat a mushroom. Mm -hmm. Aaron's at least had some wine. I don't know if he's had I anything did. to eat. I had okay. a tipple, you know. That's it. Mm -hmm. I didn't eat no bugs, though. You know, I like normal food. All right. You're gathered as the somewhat somber, like you notice everybody who's dancing, they're kind of like, yeah, you yeah, had a great time. Yeah, I'm still happy. And they look up at the queen. Yep, nope, nothing's wrong here. Please don't liquefy me. Uh, as she gathers you at her throne and I'm glad that you're all enjoying my hospitality. I'm eager to celebrate my sister's wedding with all of you. Do you all have appropriate gifts? Well, Aisha looks at her naked self. <laughs> um, gifts are in short supply, but I should certainly be happy to procure one. Hmm. What of the rest of you? She Thoras. doesn't look at Thoras. She looks at Alan and at Aaron. Thoras would still respond. Thoras has this flute uh, <laughs> whistle that he uh, Thoras has procured, pr pr uh, pr uh, paprika, procured, pr pr procured, procured Thoras. Procured. Mm. What does it do? I'm gonna hold it up. Mm, she she plucks it with her claws, looks it over, and says, "I think that this is a special gift only." for my sister, and no one else can play it. Hmm. That makes it very unique and a fitting gift. Uh, 
Okay. Doesn't explain what it does. I think it's going to change her life. Mm. <laughs> uh... very happy with it. Thoras would not know the <laughs> ominous undertones <laughs> with that sentence. Um, Aaron says, I would fain proffer upon the lady both my greatest victory and my most crushing defeat. Hmm. Perhaps you'll find that suiting. And you, rhinoceros boy? Imagine <laughs> 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 that's a schoolyard nickname. <laughs> uh, rhino boy. Uh, for the lady, I would... Um, I, I have 50 names, uh, a suitable amount fitting of her incredible stature. Hmm. A suiting gift. Now, oh, did you get the fifth name? Out of game, did, did Alan actually? He doesn't have them he, yet. He doesn't, okay. he doesn't have them yet. He's, he he's in the process of acquiring a hundred. He's promised. He sent the invoice. Some other you know. people. He's going to promise fifty there, the and he's still got thirty left over. So he's looking good. <laughs> okay. Well, Lysha, I would be happy to point you in the direction of a gift suiting. A silly queen. And Thoras, you've agreed to make a very reasonable exchange for my hospitality. I have two errands, one that I task you with, Thoras, and one that would fit your cause, Lysha. And if you can complete these two, we shall be just all set and ready for the wedding. Hmm. Yes. Sounds too good to be true, but Lysha is not in a pits place where she wants to fight with this queen, so she's going to smile and nod. Thoras, you point where I go. I don't know why I said Thoras at the beginning. Thoras, <laughs> you point where I go. Oh, God. You even said I and Thoras. I'm very confused. Thoras is also confused. <laughs> <laughs> two, two deeds of strength that I would seek from you. One... The fire that has consumed the autumn woods, in its path, it has ravaged a beast of the forest, the dragon Maringshir. Driven near mad by the pain and the agony, the beast must be put down. If you return to the mortal world and slay this dragon, Thoras, your hospitality will be well and truly paid for. Then Thoras will do it. I, excellent. As for the other matter, the gossamer daughters dwell in Glasswweb Grotto, where they spin webs of pure, clear crystal silk. A gown woven from such a garment would make a fitting gift for my sister. If you travel to the grotto and convince the sisters to part with their gossamer, then you can attend the wedding without problem, Lysha. I'm happy to arrange for your travel to both of these places. Ah, uh, Lysha, that you gave sounds... up your gift too easy. <laughs> it does. I know I did. I already had a great gift. I had the first gift. Now I'm so sad. Um, that sounds like a wondrous gift befitting a queen, my lady Rowan. But may I ask, you said it was an errand. What do you need from this? simply to bring joy into my sister's life by proffering her such a lovely gift. I seek nothing less. You don't have to think it, Lysha. Just go and be <gasps> the gossamer, mate. <laughs> my probably no hidden message. Thoras requires your assistance to kill the dragon. What say you all? Dragon? Yeah, as long as I can frag it. Uh, Thoras, I'd be happy to accompany and assist you, should you be willing to accompany me to the Gossamer Sisters. Thoras would be more than pleased to get a new suit made, for mine <laughs> is made of grass. <laughs> <laughs> well, so it's settled then. Um, my Lady Rowan, is there an order in which we must do these things? Not in the slightest. 
Though I will say that the Glassweb Grotto is closer to my domain than the mortal world. Well, can I, can I, do I, would I know what the glass web, water, glass web grotto or these Gossamer sisters are? Yeah, uh, arcana, history, or nature, not religion. Each will reveal different information. Nature is what I have. 22. 22, for yes. Glass web grotto is an enchanted place in the other world where the Gossamer sisters dwell. They are these spider fae. And they weave this pocket dimension together. And their silk, the, the gossamer that they spin, it has supernatural properties. It can catch impossible things in their nets. They can catch hopes. They can catch sunlight. They can catch uh, thoughts and fears and emotions and just all sorts of things in, their, in this substance. So it's a wondrous substance. The grotto, the, yeah, the grotto itself, is a twisting web of space and time that folds in on itself and it's very easy to become lost in it. The sisters generally do not part with their gossamer. Um, it's one of those, you know, nobody ever returns, blah, blah, blah. Maybe there's somebody who has, but generally speaking, they kill you and suck you dry of all your inner juices. Uh, <laughs> in, in, in the weird, like, spider way, not in the, oh, yeah, way. Okay, yeah, though. Yeah, I was huh. going to say, Mitch, 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 down. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I was with that one. Already had the, uh, the, the image of getting exsanguinated. There we go. That's a good word. Uh, hey. So, creepy fairy spiders or dragon first? That one's going to be your call. Oh, it's, it's an easy call for me, I won't lie. <laughs> I think we should get the suits first. Are you kidding me, Thoras? Since when have you turned down the chance to fight a dragon to go and get a dress? He I wants to dragon. look stylish when he fights the dragon. True, but also I want the dragon to be well rested before I remove its spine. Sounds like you, it sounds like you need to be well rested before you take on the dragon. Well, I you... am more than well rested. I'm going to flex all my muscles. <laughs> <I say rested. laughs> look like Doge McGinn from Food Wars, you know? <laughs> oh, oh. <gasps> right. Well... You guys are lame. I'd rather fight the dragon first, but you can get your dresses if you want. In fairness, Aaron, Aaron's attire is fairly straightforward. He just sticks Would you like me to fight the dragon right naked, now. Aaron? <laughs> uh, Aaron studiously uh, focuses on a spot above Elisha's right ear and says, <laughs> I don't know how you hold or do it. So, um, you know, your clothes are over there, I think. You could probably just put them back on. They're <laughs> covered in mushrooms that would eat me. Well, why hasn't someone offered you uh, a cloak? Oh, yeah, I guess you have the, you have the cloak. Of stars, I'm wearing right? a cloak. <laughs> right, let's get the friggin' dresses. <laughs> also, out of curiosity, you know, I know I got gills and like a fish eye. Does the rest of my body look in any way weird or is it otherwise normal elfish? Uh, up to you. It would not be a majority like aquatic. It would only be, you know, cool. majority Holja, but if you want to have, you know, patches of scales or whatever, I leave that up to you. I feel like gills and a weird fisheye are enough. Let's mm -hmm. just, like, let me get more deformed later on. <laughs> hmm. You may require... Let my tailors equip you with new armor as a gift, Lysha. Oh, a gift I would... Don't be dumb, take the gear. Feel remiss in accepting so fine a gift without any form of payment. Are you certain, my lady? Oh, of course. Payment is never required. It's a, a sign of, of good faith. Only souls. Good faith on the unsealy court, by the way. Aye. <laughs> that's uh, that's going to be a yikes for me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> With the ancient bond between our people in mind, I could never refuse <laughs> such a kind gift. Excellent. I will have it tended to. I'm sure we can find a beast and a hide that would suit you and your traditions. Oh, um, I, not, to, uh, yes, not to be ungrateful. I, I, I only 
take the skins from things that were already dead. I've never killed something to make my armor. Thank you, chat, for helping me figure out how I wore leather armor when I was a vegetarian. Oh. Oh, sure. <laughs> that can be arranged. Thank you. No. <laughs> okay, anything else? A manic laugh from the DM. Oh, oh boy, no. what does that mean? I didn't eat anything, but I'm already fucked. Oh. <laughs> anything else from anyone before you depart from your audience um... with Lady Rowan? One last question, my Lady Rowan. On our mm. last trip to the Fey Realm, time had a strange passing here versus there. Have we a sense of how long it's been since we left? Oh, you won't in know our mortal world. We wouldn't be sure until you went back. So, but we know that the dragon is still there and not dead for a hundred years. Oh, dragons are very long lived. I'm sure it's fine. That said, right. I would be happy to hold still the rivers of time as a gift from me to all of you. Oh, fuck. Sorry, you, you, what? Not required, thank you. Perfectly fine with uh, rivers of time flowing on. Love And then everyone you've ever known could be dead when we get back. Don't what, like them anyway. What, what are you doing with the... What, sorry, time? Yes, Thoras. Nothing. You see, <laughs> when you come into my world and then you go home, normally if you go to sleep and then you wake up in the morning, it's been one night and it's a new day. But if you go to sleep here or you spend a long time here, then sometimes when you go back, much more time or much less time has passed. It's very strange and very confusing and I would be happy to take care of it as a gift to all of you. Soros likes a challenge. I absolutely under no circumstances would we wish to meddle with the flow of time. No, 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 no. We'd love to just keep it as per usual. Thank you very much, Lady Rowan. A wonderful offer, but uh, shush, 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 little Thoras will be fine. <laughs> Thoras is interested in time. Well, Thoras can read the fucking book then. <laughs> <laughs> Thoras, Thoras can look at some history books or, or work out how a clock works. <laughs> I need to get two dresses so I can give Lady Rowan a dress too and not owe her for this fucking armor. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm gonna owe her. Okay. Uh, anything else? Not for me. Nope. Okay. She will urge you to go see her tailors, Lysha. And uh, Aaron, please have some more to drink. Enjoy, enjoy the fruits of my table. Oh. Uh, 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 thank you, Lady Rowan. I w would love nothing more than to continue to sup the, the fruits of the, the vine that you have. Th thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh so first things first alan when you leave the throne the uh shadow archive flag you down mm. i'm gonna be heading for the tree that the mm -hmm. uh wand of uh wonders was was buried at as well so i'm gonna try okay. and find the one of wonders and slip it back into my pocket roll investigation and roll stealth in any particular order? In that order. Uh, stealth and investigation. A 12 from stealth. Mm. All right. And a 15 investigation. Okay. You are able to relocate the wand. Mm. I, um... I, I put it in a safe place, hidden upon my person. Okay, and at that very moment, one of those little blurry hyperspeed motherfuckers zooms right past you. Uh, roll and oppose. Oh, uh, you know not what you mess with, you dribbly little speed demons. <laughs> roll a. Uh, hmm. 
I'm gonna roll a sleight of hand. Okay. With advantage. Okay, you manage somehow as this hyper speed, 120 foot movement speed <laughs> zooms past you, you manage to snatch the wand back before I can get it. You little fucker! I should have put you all in a black hole. <laughs> I'm gonna mutter up. under my breath. What's that? What's that do? What does that thing do? What does that thing do? Tell me what that thing does. Tell me what that thing does. What does that thing do? What does the thing do? Tell me what the thing does. Tell me what the thing does. You're going to you, sir. You're going to sir. Tell me what the thing does. What does that thing do? Please tell me what that thing does. I want to. Yeah, I want to. I want to. Give me the thing. Give me. Yes. 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 Show me. You want to see it? Yes. Show me. Show me now. Too slow. Going too slow. Taking way too fast. Way too fast. Ha help us defeat a dragon, and I'll show you what it does. <laughs> <laughs> And it zooms away. <laughs> um, well, very good. I, I secrete, I, I pocket it into my, secrete. my I secrete it upon my person. <laughs> okay, does it go in the bag of holding or is it just on your person? No, it's not in the bag of holding because I'm worried that the snake will take advantage of it. So I'm, I'm Dude, keeping that it out. has been in there for the a while. Holding. That snake hasn't had any air for some time. Yeah. Uh, in, the, in a clearing, you brought that snake into the unseely court. I oh god. Okay, mm. almost as bad as the court of stars. In the tree, like in the darkness of the trees, the Shatterkai wait, and they've got all of the darklings like tied up, sitting back to back in a circle. <gasps> I have an idea for a gift. Ellen, give me the snake. <laughs> I, not the time. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even discussed that we are spying on the snake for the Court of Stars. I need to break that to it gently. Wait, you're or telling rather, the snake that no, we're no, spying no, sorry, on it? Sorry, not break it to the snake, but but we need to kind of, you know, explain why we were at the Court of Stars, how they got away with it. You know, it's a very complex situation, Lysha. Let me deal with it, and then maybe I'll let you gift. I'm not going to let you gift the fucking snake anyway. <laughs> Who? So, I found him. Did you? I did. Did she? Yes, I did. Well, did you? Well, he's <laughs> taken a liking to me. <laughs> Remember, because I tried to speak to him in snake language. Yeah. Um, yeah. That didn't work, though, did it? Act of God. My act of yeah. God. You stole my act of God. Give me my snake. <laughs> yeah. My yeah. God. S Snake's quite happy at the moment. Let's How focus on the dragon. Creatively uh, navigate this. I th here's what I think, Alan. I think we should have a roster and everybody gets to carry the snake for a little while. You know, that would be fair because clearly, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's pretty smart. And, uh, you know, I have a lot mm -hmm. of questions about stuff that mm -hmm. I would probably ask it in my, not while you guys are watching though, but, you know, like in my own time, I, you know, I have mm -hmm. questions and, you know, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I feel like you're hogging all the wisdom, bruh. Mm -hmm. Yep, definitely. I'll uh, let's let's ask the snake about that and we'll see where it wants to go at the moment. Okay. It keeps saying that it wants to stay with me, but you know, at the end of the day, where the snake wants to be is the most important part of this. No, no, that let's makes bring sense. him out and ask let's him. Ask hmm? the snake. Yeah, that makes sense though. You want to get the snake out in the middle of the unseelie court? It's fucking. I am about to tackle you and steal your bag of holding. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, well, I, yeah. I, I I rustle off into the undergrowth. Thor, <laughs> <laughs> see all of this happening. Yeah, Thoris, you're welcome to participate in this scene. Can I lift both of them up? In fact, I can lift... Wait, are all three of you about to tussle? No, I'm trying I'm to run away. We're not looking like we're going to fight. I think it's Alan. just Lysha. I'm not fighting. I'm... I'm Debating. To, uh... Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm going to lift both Alan and Lysha up. Like, two cats. Roll opposed athletic... Roll one opposed athletics check, and each of you roll an athletics check. Lysha and Alan. Uh, Thoras definitely can lift you. It's just a matter of, you know, can you wriggle out of it? Oh my god. Alright, roll it. Roll it, Thoras. Imagine, imagine roll, rolling a five. Rolling? Imagine rolling a nine. Athletics. On athletics. Just one? I only have a just plus one. one on my athletics. I got lucky. Alright. <laughs> Lysha sort of <laughs> out of the way. But you do have Alan by the scruff. <laughs> Stop. Stop it. Stop it. There we is have no scruff to... from Thank Lysha you for withholding him in place, we Thoras, have... and she's starting to up. pat him down while you're holding him up. <laughs> oh, no, this isn't what I intended at all. <laughs> Thoras, let go of me. I've got some very important business. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to let go. Oh, fuck. I fall to the floor. 
I'm going to pick myself up and dust myself off and glare at Lysha, and I'm going to stalk off to try and find the uh, the 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 people that melt into the ground. Okay, is, uh, fuck wait. does anybody <laughs> object? Is anyone following him or anything like that? I'm following him. I'm oh, angry. <laughs> I'm trying to be reasonable, so no, I'm not. I, I'm not I just, just want to of... get this bloody suit. <laughs> Thoris has two thoughts on his mind, dragon and fancy clothes. Yep. That's it. <laughs> I lost my space silk, so I gotta get some demon spider silk instead. I don't know what it is. Well, I don't know where we're going, but I'm probably gonna have to threaten some crystal people. Crystal gossamer. Crystal gossamer. Did we agree to go and get the crystal gossamer first before the dragon? You didn't agree yeah. to an order. An order was suggested. Wow. Well, Glassweb Grotto. Of that, yeah. Glassweb Grotto is in the other world. And the weird time and memory stuff only happens when you leave the underworld. So if you leave and go fight the dragon, you're going to have to come back. Mm. And then leave again. Mm -hmm. But we have right. to come back either way for the wedding. Mm -hmm. True. So it's a question of whether we do it on the way there or the way back. But again, I think on the way there makes a little more sense. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I'm stalking off into the undergrowth. If I see Lysha behind me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and make peace with Lysha. Lysha, Lysha, come. Come here, come here. Alan. <sighs> what? Give me the thing. <laughs> for, for the love of fucking God, <laughs> I, the, yeah, I, I don't think that unveiling, um, what are they called again? I keep thinking Forsaken Infernal? because I've been reading the Wheel of Time too much. Infernal. Uh, Infernal, <laughs> yeah, an Infernal. Um, I don't think that unveiling an Infernal in the middle of the Unseely Court is a good idea. Right, no, absolutely. But if I give it to the Seely Court, that takes give care it. of many of our problems. We agreed with the Court of Stars to spy upon the Infernal. How are we going to do that if we give it to the Fey? Well, that's actually a good point. I hate it when you have good points. I know, it's terrible, isn't it? It's it awful. really is. <laughs> How about this, Lysha? I'll, 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 come here, come here. I'll take you into the Inner Fold. Uh, I'm going to explain to her that I made a deal with, with some guys to, um, I'm, no, I'm not going to admit to murder in front of Lysha though, because I blew all those people up. So what am I going to say? <laughs> I'm going to say, I'm going to say that I'm going to say to like, I'm trying to build some trust with Lysha here because if she's going to follow me, then she might as well know what I'm going to do. I don't want her just skulking behind me. So I'm going to say to Lysha that I'm going to try and explain to her what, what happened and my process of acquiring names, because Lysha's already heard that I have apparently got some names to give as a gift. So I'm going to say to Lysha, uh, those names, I, I'm off to go and collect them at the moment. Would you, would you mind accompanying me? Um, I, I made a deal with some people for, uh, I, I made a wager um, with them. But unfortunately- You made a wager with the Fae Allen? Are you stupid? I, I won the wager. How? Well, there is uh, always a trick built into their wager. Are you were you very explicit in your terms? I believe so, but that is why I would like you to accompany me, Lysha. You have a lot of common sense. I don't know whether I've ever mentioned that before, but I really appreciate your presence in these kind of moments. So if you could monitor proceedings and help me enforce the rules of the bed as they were laid out, that would be wonderful if you wouldn't mind. Uh. Well, I can't very well let you go alone. I know, it would be quite terrible to abandon me over to the Fae <laughs> after I've made such a, a grievous error of making a bet with them. Well, all right, I suppose I should help you. It would be the right thing to do, I think. I'm, not, I'm very confused. You're very persuasive. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm going to try and find one of these. Uh, Kadisha? Shadow Kai, yep. Shada, Shada Kai. That's the way those vowel sounds were placed. Shada Kai. All right. Yeah, they've basically been stalking you. So as soon as okay. you look for them, they're just like, hi, Batman. Ah. And Alan, she, Elisha looks at him even more incredulously, like, with these guys? Like, are you insane? Oh, God. Uh, don't worry. They, uh, they're incredibly professional. Um, the, the people that you apprehended, um, they, uh, they own and owe me, uh, the names of which I promised you, uh, wh where have you apprehended them or where have you placed them? 
points over his shoulder into a grove where you can just make out a group of uh, figures all tied up in a circle, tied to each other. Okay, well, I'm going to go over and approach them. <clears throat> all right, the Shatterkai follows you waiting to collect. The Elder looks up at you. Mm. Eyes narrowed. Hmm. He doesn't say anything, though. Waiting for you to talk. Okay. What? What? Uh, w were you able to witness any of uh, what surpassed? No. What surpassed? Large amounts of chaos. Such as? Uh, great what? fireballs. Uh, large beings, the slowing of time, gravitic poles. And you swear that you caused all this? This is already uh -huh. good, but Lysha made it better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let this me think about the wording of this very, very carefully. Um, um, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I quite clearly caused more chaos than you were able to. So you caused that fireball and the great beings and such, or are you simply claiming credit for it? Mm. Oh, would you like another demonstration? If you've already fulfilled, ones? if you've already fulfilled your bond, then uh, it's not necessary. I certainly have. All right, by doing those things you just described. That you just described when you said when you were talking about the bet that we made for who's going to cause more chaos is the chaos that you described that just occurred the chaos that you caused in order to win our bet the poison specifically made for Cusco. <laughs> <laughs> what a great movie! Uh, uh, um, uh, at the very least. Uh, uh, then what have you done? The chaos within those two minutes began and originated with myself. That'll do. That'll that'll very well. <laughs> Your names? And he starts rattling off all these weird little like. Oh, I would. I would. As soon as he starts rattling them off, actually, mm -hmm. I would cut him. Cut him off mm -hmm. and say uh, 20 of the names to be passed between these men. The rest you will speak only to me. To make sure that the, because I don't know how these things are passed. I've never dealt in names before, but presumably by speaking them aloud, I mean, like these, these Shardikar might just be able to take all 100 of the names if he just <laughs> rattles them off. So I'm just going to try and make sure that they only speak 20 of them aloud to the entire group. Okay. And he starts naming off these little strange names like Hemlock Tooth and Sharp Biter and Hungry Shadow and just like, and they're all names in Sylvan, which I don't think either of you speak. So never mind, forget that. He just rattles off all these names, 20 of them. And uh, the Shadarkai, the contract is sealed and they will withdraw. Mm. And then he'll give the others to you. What? The hell do I do with these things? Would I have any understanding of what to do with them? Roll Arcana. A nat 20. Okay. Uh, there's a lot of different spells you can do with them, but it's possible since he gave you the names, he didn't just tell you the names, he transferred the names from himself to you. Simply by speaking them, you can get the attention of and wield influence over whatever creature its name is. Right, okay. Meanwhile... That is, that is 80 names that I have mm -hmm. attempted yeah, to add, commit to memory. Add 80 names to your inventory. 
<laughs> okay, that's what I've done. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to thank them, mm -hmm. untie them, and head off. Okay. Where do you go? Uh, when we, before, we, as he walks away, Laisha, in her pacifist self, like she pulls up a fist like she's ready to punch him. She wants to punch him. Also, even mm -hmm. if I punched you, my unarmed strike does zero damage. So, whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. But the, the... she really, she's. Ellen. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Set off fireball in the middle of the court. What are you thinking, you inconceivably stupid? <laughs> Stupid man. No, 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 Elijah. The fireball? No. No, 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 no. I heard not what me. you said, Alan. Do not, do not use your fancy talk with me. No, I heard you. No more uh, fancy talky, Alan. I admitted to the chaos. I did not admit to the fireball. You admitted, admitted to all of the chaos caused within that two minutes, which I presume includes the fireball, since he referenced it about 50 times and you danced around actually admitting it. Presumably because I'm here. What the hell have you done? I did not cast the spell Fireball. Look me in the eyes, Lysha. I did not. I promise you, upon all that is holy to me, upon my very life, oh, I'm I certain did that not you didn't, cast Because I know you don't know how. Where fireball. is that wand you took from the baby? <laughs> baby wand? One baby? Alan? No. I, I I I don't know what you mean. Do not make I'm me gonna continue to stalk angry off. Naked druid in front of you. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna continue to stalk off. Okay. I'm going to cast. <clears throat> oh god! I oh, why why do I always end up fragging party? I'm not gonna frag. You. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I'm not gonna frag you. I'm not. I'm not. But I am considering. Who are you trying communing to communing with nature or uh, casting wrath of nature and having the trees hold you in place. Druid. <laughs> One of the darklings speaks up. Druid. Do it. Unbind yes. us. I think he already did. He said he untied you. Oh, well, ignore me. I'm not here. <laughs> 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 all right, yeah, they all skulk off into the shadows. Thank you. Um. Meanwhile, I... go go ahead and finish that thought, and then I'm gonna change uh, over to Thoras and Aaron. Um, I'm gonna cast Plant Growth to make mm -hmm. it difficult terrain for him to move through, which doesn't affect me because I'm not affected by difficult terrain that it's is caused by plants. By that. It's like a 400 foot radius. It's a 100 foot radius. Okay, so it's a 200 foot diameter. <sighs> yes. Wonderful. Why do you always do this? <laughs> There's a lot of plants that are growing now. Do you I want like to include the glade grow. in this area of effect, or are you excluding the majority of the glade from this I'm area I'm trying of to exclude the majority of the glade and just kind of okay. catch this like side area where we're at and presumably mm -hmm. the forest beyond. Okay, it's quad difficult terrain, so it costs four squares of movement instead of one square of movement to move through as it just turns into a jungle, Alan. Just... That's, that's great. I'm, <laughs> I, I giggle at Lysha. And uh, cast Dimension Door back to the party. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have advantage against plants that are created to manipulate or impede <laughs> movement, so I guess I can try my best to get back as fast as I can. Okay. <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> no, that's not true. Oh, no. I'm going to... Okay. I'm wasting so many spells right now, but it's fine. <laughs> Uh, presumably I'm off. standing near a tree so I'll cast mm -hmm. tree stride and teleport through the trees to be standing back next to him That's okay great. you guys can both teleport <laughs> excellent really oh glad we, we lord whole exercise. <laughs> okay uh, Aaron and Thoras what would you like to do during this entire she just you know? shoves him angrily <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be just kind of nagging the giant swole elves mm -hmm. for their workout routines and I'm gonna be like kind of trying to trying to trying to work out near them just to try and like be like hey you uh what about my form <laughs> roll athletics roll the flex i i'm not trying to flex i'm just trying to get advice you know just mm -hmm. trying to 
go on that path flex. to be at some point as swole as this elf. Your form is excellent. Thank you, thank you. Very inspiring, thick, tight, etc. But <laughs> no oh. form is equal to service to the Lady Rowan. Well, in her, we find our strength. In her, we remember to turn on the voice modulator. <laughs> Services our strength. Mm. There's no shortcut to swollenness. No, there isn't. We're well, all gonna make it, fam. I mean, you probably have to work out a lot harder than we do. We swore an eternally binding oath on our souls, and then bathed in the Never. shadow sap, and Maybe look you, at us. You wouldn't be able to. You wouldn't be able to enter any competitions. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> but I don't even have to eat to maintain this. Look at this. Is he flexing? Yes! <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, I'm dumb. Continue. I don't know if you're Tom and Jerry fucking chase. <laughs> Aaron. No, it's okay. I let Aaron do his thing. Well, no, Aaron. Aaron sorry, guy. I, I don't be pointing. Aaron has nothing to do. He was already <laughs> convinced that they were going to go and get these dresses. Yeah. So I thought just, we were going to go get suits. Yeah, he's just watched this transpire in, 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 <laughs> in utter mystification. He's still probably petitioning Josh to allow there to be a more. Uh, equitable sharing of the, the butt mm. snake, but that's about no, it. I, I, I <laughs> you know, dude, I apologize. I wrote like this scene, then I was like, okay, and then they're either going to go to the glass web grotto where Mitch can like fight spider monsters, or they're going to go fight a fucking dragon, and he'll have tons of, you know, the fighters, they'll have so much stuff to do. There will be, there will be stuff Next to do. Next right? episode, most about. likely. <laughs> <laughs> um, Lysha would, um, Ask the lady wrote like kind of shove and kick some dirt general direction of Alan, who she's mm -hmm. pissed at now, but she won't say anything loud while they're here because she doesn't she presumes the lady Rowan probably knows what happened, but mm -hmm. also knows the unseely like a little chaos, so mm -hmm. whatever um and uh would ask the lady Rowan for directions to the glass web grotto. And also, if she might uh, meditate in a corner for four hours. <laughs> <laughs> that, yeah, makes perfect sense. Burn to all of our spell slots, have we? Of course, take your time, enjoy the hospitality, <laughs> and, you know, do eat something. You wouldn't want to lose your strength, right? I mean, it's been... If you haven't eaten anything and you're taking long rests out of character, eventually, at some point, you're going to get hungry or thirsty. You're going to get dehydrated. Um, yep. I can create water. Okay. Uh... <laughs> If you're not going to eat, there will be constitution saves to avoid fatigue. Uh, no, she's going to eat. She didn't know any better. Ashley just out mm. of game knows she shouldn't. Um, so she'll look around for something vegetarian. Oh, yeah. There's all sorts of plants and berries and salads and, and odd okay. flowers and stuff that people are just going to town on. All right. Oh, flowers look tasty. Mm -hmm. Let's eat some flowers. Okay. Uh, and some berries. Yeah, it's great. Sort of stain, you know, it, it's got these purple stains, um, but it's delicious. A little bit bitter, but this rich sweetness to it. Good stuff. Uh, they'll go ahead, and when you're ready, they will call you to be fitted for new leather armor. And it's really fine and soft, but also pliant and tough. All right. I, I dig it. Mm -hmm. Also, thank you, Faye Leather Armor. You're sure this was created sustainably? Cruelty-free? Oh, uh, we have slain nothing to create this. Hey. Mm. Is it fair trade armor? <laughs> 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 okay. Um, uh, yeah, so she'll, she's no longer sky-clad. I will right. get... Uh, this is just basic leather armor, right? Mm -hmm. It's just leather Not armor. Cool. Now yep. that I have these names in my possession, mm -hmm. I'd like to... Uh, offer a trade to the Lady Rowan, a name for all of the food and water that we will require for our trip. Very well. She'll take one. When, when, when you utter it, she sort of smirks and chuckles, but very well. The, <laughs> a, a fair trade. My hospitality is exchanged. Dude, you got the names of the most minor pixies in history. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. <laughs> The, Speaking of which, try some of the pixie. try some of the fried pixie. Thoris has been going to town on those things. It's got this sweet crunch to them. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Wait, here's your pictures. 
Shine. Oh. <laughs> Not gonna stop eating. I'm gonna stock up on. I'm gonna stock up on whatever looks the most uh, mm. normal. Do you want some have of the some bloat? salad, fruits, and berries? We have some bloat. Lovely slice of bloat. The one that the the bear hasn't eaten already. No bloat. No. Had a bad <laughs> dream about bloat once. Oh, Not the a wings. Fan of bloat. We got wings. Yeah, hot wings. Wings hot of Arakokra. Mmm, delicious. Mm. Nah, you know, I'll probably pass. You got Is any it... chicken? I've I've sky chicken. <laughs> Fruits so... and nuts over here, Alan. Yes. Uh, flying feathered. Uh, we have Pegasus haunch. Mm. Want that? Juicy. It's it's got a it's got like a nice uh, honey glaze on it. Wow. Mm. I'm just gonna stock up on a bunch of fruits, and I'm just gonna put a lot of high calorie food into the bag, and then okay, kind of not eat, actually eat any now. All right. Uh does the party need to take a long rest after busting their entire, uh, you know, yeah. everything? Yeah. Before we I'm, go fight, I'm, uh... dude, I've been resting for hours. <laughs> well, I don't need a long rest. I guess I could just meditate for four hours. Yeah, you can take a four-hour rest. I don't uh, need hit points. I just need mm -hmm. spells. Very well. Yeah, I'm good. I, will, yeah, I only I will use take a one. Because I got boomed in the mosh pit. If you're going to take a long <laughs> rest, that's a full eight hours. You good for it? Sure. Why not? If, if uh, Aaron okay. needs to rest. Long rest then I guess I'm just chilling still. Yeah, just vibing. Uh... Alan, during a long rest, you are summoned. Oh, shit. Okay. And as you answer the summon, you see the Lady Rowan on her throne and the Darkling Elder standing next to her. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, man. <laughs> okay, yep, yeah, sure. All right. Oh, here we go. All right. Yeah, so, Alan... Glad you could join us. Thanks for coming. Um, Hello, my lady. You killed a bunch of my guests. No, I killed a bunch of your moshers. Yeah, those are my guests. And are they? Yeah, they are. Okay. Are, are, you, are, you, are, you, are you arguing with me right now? No. Okay, great. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this... this <laughs> This obviously is a grave insult because my hospitality and my reputation, you know, really, what else does a incredibly powerful arc fay with mastery over time, space, and magical forces have, you know? A lot of things, I would yeah. say, later yeah. on. You have a lot of things. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> that's true. I do have a lot of things because I'm amazing. Uh, so I'm going to need you to explain to me why I'm not going to liquefy you. This was a cleansing, my Lady Rowan. This was not an insult. The, I, I recognized in these Darklings a desire for absolute chaos, and by, uh, by goading them into this kind of situation, I managed to figure out exactly what they were after, what, what they would have done this entire time if you had just let them roam around for free. Mm -hmm. they, they, they were planning to meddle, the, the delightful... Ladies over there, I point towards the hags. <laughs> these, these, these lovely women who have done absolutely nothing. The Darklings were planning to fuck with them and they're loveliest to you. Um, and, and I, you know, I got a lot of angry glares from the people in the mosh pit. And I, much like you, Lady Rowan, I don't suffer insults uh, particularly kindly. They were an unseemly lot and i think that uh you know they were taking advantage of your hospitality <laughs> and uh, just uh, kind of making a mess of the place i i, I consider it a, those who cannot save themselves by a deck saving throws <laughs> deserve to die is this not a classic saying of the seely court unseely mm. <coughs> unseely court <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I am rambling to save myself. Yep. 
No, I, I see where you're coming from, and you know you do have a lot of good points. Uh, only the strong survive, and you know some of them are bastards, and they had it coming. But you still incinerated them and left their roasted corpses all over my floor. And I'm going to have to talk to their families. And I, you know, it really it affected me. It affected me I would personally. Love the the lady round. I would love to talk to their families for you. I would love to scrape their poor little smorched ashen corpses off the floor for you. I'd love to just make the situation as wonderful as humanly possible. Consider it. Uh, consider it a, a a favor from me to you to to take care of this entire mess. Mm. I can handle that myself. But if you're willing to offer me a favor, then. I would consider us no harm. Uh, what would this favor entail? I'm sure a, a favor of the exact same equivalence as the one that I offered would be absolutely no problem. Hmm. I would require you what you have done against me, you would need to do for me. In the Sealy Court? At a time and place of my choosing. One fireball, one enlarged spell, one slow spell. How can you guarantee ah, that? Ah, the, the specifics of the spells as well. Mm. My lady, there's a little more complexity to the chaos. <laughs> yeah, there, I mean, it is a very complex thing, but you know what's a lot simpler is liquefying you. Real easy, pull out this finger right here and she pulls it out and it's this rod, this wand of Rowan that just rips out from her flesh, you know? Please, just... please, my lady, please. It reminds me of the rhinoceros too much. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have sure... a fireball spell from the act of God. I'm sure we can agree a fireball, a slow spell and an enlarged spell, as complex as that might be, really it's, you know, it's a lot less unpleasant than a quick liquefaction, right? What about spells of equivalent value? You'll offer me spells of equivalent value? Yeah, I mean, I don't know really how to express this, but I mean, like, Fireball is a level X spell, a enlarge is a level X spell, and a slow is a level X spell. You know, mm -hmm. spells that would be equivalently powerful in that order. Hmm, 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 hmm. And, and how about this? So as you can be 100% sure that I will not try and deceive you in any way, we shall let the pure luck of the dice decide exactly what those spells should be. <laughs> I choose the time and will let fate decide the rest. Precisely, my lady. I knew you were a, uh, a master of chaos. We have a deal? We have a deal. <laughs> Great. Enjoy your unliquefied uh, flesh. Mm, thank you, my lady Rowan. Thank you so profusely. All right. And uh, try the Sprite. It's made, sprite? From, real sp it's made from real Sprites. <laughs> oh, I'm going to wander back to my, my bedroom shaking. <laughs> All right. Oh. The next morning, although the, the light never truly actually changes, uh, you rise and you're not sure if the party ever stopped. You do notice that there are more people sprawled all over the place. Uh, there's... Hmm. Who, who would have done this? The Mordain bowl of tea that you left behind seems to have been forgotten. Mm. Yeah, and it's gone. You're not sure what became of it. Yeah. How enough unfortunate. Time, enough time has passed. Uh, so, what would the party like to do? The Lady Rowan would be happy to guide you. If you're trying to get to Glassweb Grotto the normal way, it's from the mortal world, it's an absolute pain. You have to go out on a moonless night and catch a moth without using your eyes. 
and bring it to the bark of a pine tree to open the way. But you're already in the other world, so it's actually fairly easy to get there if you have the will of a fey queen on your side. So that would easily be done. She can also send you back to the mortal world if you want to take care of the dragon first. Unless Ooh, there's any like other... Go ahead. Go to the Glasswweb Grotto first if we're going to have to go to all that trouble to get there after. Any other business that the party would wish to attend to or that we've forgotten? Have we forgotten anything? I don't think so. Not that I can think of. All right. Go ahead and uh, group yourselves up for me in the middle just so I can easily drag you and drop you over. And uh, we're not going to go too much further, but I do want to at least get out of this scene so that nothing else can go awry before our next game. <sighs> Give me the wand and the stake. <laughs> Shut up, Vaisha. They don't know about the fucking snake. It's about the only thing she doesn't know about. To be fair, you actually successfully avoided detection with your wand shenanigans. You just never made anything in your deal with the Darklings that they couldn't rat on you. Oh, what a... They're pieces of shit. <laughs> they're fairies, man. Like I said, wording is very important. Mm. Be explicit. Damn fairies. All right. You wander off. Oh, and does anyone have their spells prepared the way that they want them? Lysha, do you have your spells prepared the way that you want them? Cool. Uh, you know what? Don't worry about it right now. We're just going to go ahead and set the scene, probably set the scene and end of the night, barring any objections. Uh, so I will let you adjust your spells and stuff between games. That'll be faster. Works you for me. You follow a path that uh, the Lady Rowan sets you on into the dark briars, thorns, and mossy curtains of the other world in the Unseelie Court. And as you go deeper and deeper, the trees grow thicker and closer together and you start to see strands of glassy silk and it barely it's only when the light catches on it that you can even see it it is so transparent you walk through it without even you know it, it, you know that thing when you walk through a doorway it's like blah, 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 blah. but it grows thicker and thicker and it, it looks like ice or glass clinging to the trees and it refracts with this beautiful light that belies the fact that these are deadly sticky traps designed to catch you see occasionally little pixies cocooned inside of it and even larger things that have long since stopped thrashing and through the transparent silk you can even see their desiccated forms what the only reason you can't identify them is because they're so withered and dry that they're shaped into these silhouettes of twisted horror as you go deeper and deeper into the grotto and uh yes of that yep is this about them to bring up i hate spiders <laughs> i really i should have put a oh, content warning on have this. you My never apologies. seen me be a giant spider before oh damn the god looks dope Whoa. that does look really cool um chap brought up a really good question mm -hmm. um joe since there's no sunrise uh and you know, Aaron gets to keep that spell. Does that also mean there's no dusk and my robe does not recharge? Hmm. There's no dusk, but there are stars. The stars can shine here, so your robe will recharge. Okay, because it says daily at dusk, so I yes. didn't... No, you still, you still get okay. the recharge on that. Items normally, and like spellcasters who regain their spells at dawn or dusk or whatever, if you're on a world that doesn't have that, you still get it on refresh. The act of God is something different and special, which is why it's going to stick around. Gotcha. Also, I misread chat and I thought they were talking about your clock regaining its charges. It's like, what clock? When did I give out a clock? It Magic did say clock, clock but I knew what they meant. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so I say we go ahead and leave it here for the night as you enter and you can hear things moving and as they creep across these transparent threads it sounds like the, t the jingling of tiny bells or an odd hum this weird unearthly music hangs all around you and countless eyes multifaceted eyes watch you from the shadows 
and we will come back next week tuesday at 6 p.m mm. like when mm. harry potter and ron reasley was crying and he says i hate spiders <laughs> all right aragarg <laughs> <laughs> uh uh yeah so once again i i wrote uh I wrote us getting into one of these two scenes and possibly a fight, but shenanigans happened along the way and that's good. That's fine. I super meant to make my bargain with the Fae have something to do with getting Korak his mind back, but you know, then we got distracted. So Korak you can always, be bare. You can always make another bargain. There's yeah, later. always there's always later. another bargain. No bear. All right. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in. Hope you had a good night and we will see you next time. Good night, everybody.